When last we left our adventurers, they had met the enigmatic goddess Matron Lacrimora, the woman who watches over this domain of dread. They had some party issues, but overall, everything seems to be okay. They were gifted magical items, and as they were ready to venture out into the world to decide their next steps, a villager from the tavern rushed in, begging the matron to send the heroes, because the tavern was under attack by the sisters. Matron shakes her head, puts on her helmet, and says, I'm sorry, but there's no time to lose. Everyone, hold on tight. She holds out her hand towards all of you. And as you see her clawed hand glow gold for a momentary second, you feel that pull at the base of your stomach, which some of you have felt before when you have been teleported. And you find yourselves standing outside the tavern. So, if we could have a battle map up, please. Outside the tavern? Yes. Uh, yeah. Um, you see on the fringes of the tavern, about as much as you can see, you see creatures that look like the werewolves you fought when you first arrived, but something is off about them. Bone-like ossifications have grown up around their face, their chest, and their hands giving them long, nasty-looking claws on the back of their hands and what appears to be very thick bone armor. And they are smashing against what appears to be an invisible wall of force that ripples. But you can see that with every hit, a small crack is appearing in this ripple. And floating around behind them, you see what appears to be a cloud of red mist. You don't know how long this is going to hold, but you know that if these creatures get through, they will slaughter the villagers in the tavern. What would you like to do? All right. Need more intel. Uh, can we? Is the door open? Is it, like, is the door openable to the tavern? Uh, it is openable, but it is currently barred. You mm -hmm. can see the people inside. Um, as do you try to open the door? <gasps> the rogue! Eep. I'm actually gonna... Is, is Lady Amelia in there? Uh, yes. Uh, as you try to get can to the I door, you hear the, the bar door. move, and the door opens. You can actually see pressed into the lower window on the stream, or on the stream, on the uh, tavern, you see Dimitri's face. And Dimitri I'm gonna actually go terrified. straight to Lady Amelia. You see. Lady Amelia. First things first, um, can you, will there be any ill effects to you and your people hiding in the tunnels? I do not think so. Do you think this is something you can handle by yourselves? I don't, I know you fought things before, but have you ever fought anything like this? Well, that was my next question. What are we dealing with? Those, we call them, well, we call them Sporeborn, but... You can see that they've been altered. That is the result of the blood curse. That's from Madame Seltradot. Their bones have grown out and given them a kind of armor. Their... Even our bullets can't pierce it. But one good shot, you can shatter it. Now, as for, that, as for that, and she points up to the clouds, I don't know what that is. I think the best course of action is to give their focus on us. You can hide in the tunnels for as long as you can. If they're focused on us, they won't mind you, because we can give them a fight. Further, if they're going to get through that barrier, we may have to mess up the tavern a bit. Because in enclosed space, we can funnel them through that door. Mazora! How big a cloud of smoke can you manage? I don't know how much I'm going to be able to put out. I can put out a nice amount, but not can enough. Can you cover the door? Yeah, I could easily cover the door. Um. Okay. Osric, roll a d20 for me. 
Don't add anything to it. Just roll a d20. Uh, 17. Okay. Uh, with that, you hear a shatter and a crack of a f- of air, and you feel wind as whatever magical barrier is keeping these creatures out drops. Please, all of you, drag yourselves to the area in front of the tavern and roll initiative. Remember to click on your character when you roll initiative. Can I roll with physical dice? <laughs> yes. You can always roll with physical dice. I trust all of you. Oh. Right outside the door, you said? Uh, in, in that area, within like 10 or 20 feet of the door. Heck yeah. I did it. I know how the internet works. 17. Yes. Love low initiative rolls. Okay. Quedan, what did you get? That's a nine. Fantastic. Mazora, are you rolling with physical dice? Uh, no, I rolled, but it, even though I clicked on my uh, my icon that went to uh, oh, roll 20. It, so many 17s. Yeah, well, no. Mine admittedly was a modified 17, but then so were Yeah, so was everyone else's. Uh, okay, so uh, the order of the 17s is going to be Zir, Mazura, Boz. Uh, because I believe that is the order of dexterity mods. I am plus four. Um, I am plus five. Oh, wow. you're plus five dexterity? All right, then it will be Mazura, Zir, Boz. Okay. Um, so, uh, then combat will begin with the creatures. Um, the creatures have shattered the barrier and are going to start to move in. That's definitely not what I wanted to hear. Sorry about it. Oh, man. They're not that fast, don't worry. Oh, okay. yeah, baby clerics in the front. Why, why, why have we done this? <laughs> uh, uh, brains and trains? I don't know. <laughs> well, we seem to have some kind of a plan that involves... I'm trains. fine with I'm fine with me being in the front. It's you being in the front that I'm less fine with. That's such an honor. I... <laughs> will be okay. You are the one who can heal. You need to you need to remain okay. Yeah. Ah, that's so true. Um Queden, can you roll a wisdom save for me? Uh-huh. Gladly. Is off we're off to a great start. I'll do a digital dice. I that's a 15. Okay, you uh resist the fear condition as werewolves Jesus. worse than any werewolf you've ever seen before because there are bones growing out of them giving them armor charge at you on all fours and can uh-huh. everyone roll perception for me i'm good at that one what are the what are the fucking chances that my worst be? 19 okay got a 21 from clovis that is going to be a 23 for me. All right. 30, 20. Okay. It was perception? Yes. Yes. Thanks. Okay. Um, Zier, maybe it's because you're far back. Maybe it's because you got teleported and that you don't like that feeling, but you... Don't notice anything strange, but the rest of you hear something on the wind that sounds like, (laughs) oh, look at them run. Isn't this lovely, Natasha? It is Ivanka, so lovely, and such wonderful little pieces of food. (laughs) Which will bring us to Clovis. Um, no thanks. (laughs) No thanks. Um... Okay. Um, I don't think that changes what I'm going to do, but that did cause me the player psychic damage to hear. Good. Um, I worked on that voice all week. 
fantastic work. Uh... I will say one more thing, actually, because one of you did roll very high with that 23. Mazora, you kind of tracked where that voice was coming from. It's coming from that red cloud. Thank you. The, the red cloud is in the sky, correct? Uh, like a cloud I, cloud, or is it like... It's not like a cloud cloud. It's it's like a low a low mist, but it is okay. about 30 feet off the ground. Gotcha, gotcha. So not, not something to do anything about. Take this moment. Um, hmm. Okay. Um, I think... It's not that is concentration, no. Um... Yeah, uh, Clovis, seeing all of these uh, creatures run up to us, uh, is going to look to his side at Quedon, uh and then back towards all of his friends and go, All right, Stendor, battle god, right? Battle stuff! Uh, and is just going to try and summon some sort of uh, fighting magic. Uh, and I think. A, a large spectral column of Grecian marble will appear as a Stendar spiritual weapon next to him. Okay. So where, where are you putting this um, spiritual column? Uh, hmm. Let's go uh, diagonally right, or diagonally left above uh, Quedon Square. So that it is, it is also in so there. Yes, so that is okay. in melee range of that one. That is the closest I could find to a Grecian column. So I hope that works. That works. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, it's uh, Clovis is like giant spiky shield of doom, and it just a a, a marble pillar falls down and like does the like slinky movement, but it just mm -hmm. falls forward. I onto love that. This, uh... No, I love it. Yeah. Uh, All right. So, if me on attack. Um, an 18. Uh, nice. Okay. Well done. All right. Or 11 force damage. Nice. Oh, oh, it already rolled damage. Disregard that. All right. Um, yeah. It does not shatter the... It does not shatter the armor, but it seems to have done some damage. Great. Uh, and Clovis, who was fully expecting us to have to like have plenty of time running back to get here, is like uh, trying to get his shield and, and mace out now to get ready for this combat that he was just teleported into the middle of. Um, I'll say you can use your action point. to get armed. Okay. I forgot that that spell is a bonus action. Um, uh, hmm. Where am I going to go? I think Clovis himself is going to. Oh, wait a uh, minute. I'm doing you all a disservice. There we go. I thought something was missing. <laughs> uh, uh, that's, believe... There's the dread. There we oh, go. Sorry, I... asterisk. Your music is beautiful. Spooky music. <laughs> uh, and Clovis will end his turn uh, moving into melee range of this yeah. other uh, bone wolf. Great. Real talk, I will say, I'm the happiest that we're moving on, just so you guys can hear different music. <laughs> All right, uh, that will bring us to Mazora. Actually, uh, DM, I would probably hold my uh, my turn entirely until the other two go. Uh, I'm going to, whereas I am fast, I'm also tactical, and I'm gonna, okay. I, I want to see what they're doing right before. You can, you can put yourself below them. I would gladly put myself below yeah. both of them, yes. Uh, okay, cool. Quick, uh, quick house rule. If you roll the same initiative as someone else, you get to determine what order you go in. How's that sound? Thank you. Okay. Great. Appreciated. That will bring us then to Zir. How we how we get here? Uh, huh? the matron teleported you. Oh. She reached out her hand, there was a glowing light, and then all of a sudden you were standing here. Excellent. There is a 15-foot pit of liquid behind you. Liquid question mark? Yes. Oh, yes, the moat that was protected. Okay. Mm -hmm. But it's not water. Huh. Well, let's find out, shall we? Okay. I'm shall gonna... we? 
Shall we? But I don't know. Maybe not. I'm going to step right here. Okay. And then, well, actually, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm going to allow myself to take the opportunity attack from this okay. guy. All right. Uh, he will gladly take it. Go for it. Okay. Got all that good temp uh, HP. Thanks, he Creedon. will miss. Heck yeah. Okay. And then I want to get this man in the moat. Okay. So I'm thinking that would be either a grapple or a shove. If you're trying to shove him, I'll do opposed athletics. I can do that. Uh, if you beat him by five, you will move him back five squares. If you beat him by ten, you'll move him back ten. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll try. Oh, wait, no, hold on. No, Rams don't actually do any knockback, huh? No, they don't. Dang. Yeah, okay. Well, then we'll just... Uh, we'll but just if you want to ram as a shove, I will give you advantage on the athletics. That would be cool. All right, then. Yeah, so I do a little... I, I scoot in here pretty deftly. I just kind of dart over here, and then... I like lean down with my little satyr horns and I and I shove him in an attempt to get him into the moat. I'll do athletics with advantage. And a nat 20. All right. So um you see this Yay. creature go <laughs> rocketing back into this moat. And it and you just hear a terrible scream as he comes out and like bits of him are starting to like slough off of his face Ooh. Uh, so let me roll that necrotic damage Ooh. it is uh an amount uh so you deal 16 necrotic damage to this man <laughs> nice one interesting very <laughs> good okay i'm gonna immediately turn my back on that and pretend it's not happening <laughs> And then I will post ram. I still have some movement, yes, or just ramming. No, it doesn't. No, you have movement, yeah. Yeah, I will move in and be on the other side of this guy, ready to ready to help Queen. Okay, Osric. Um, is Lady Amelia? Did she take her people to hide in the tunnel, or you do not like... know? The last you heard is you heard a thump of the uh, lock, or of the right. bar falling on the lock on the other side of the door. Well, that plan's not happening, so new plans. Uh, wait, you get the yeah. feeling that it was not, it's, a, it's one of those, no offense, but I have to protect my people things. And you're not her people yet. Oh, no, it's fine. This is, I had an idea, but that idea is no longer viable. Um, and, Look, these guys might hit you really involved, hard to it break been, that door. It would have involved bottlenecking. Because, yes, they, they want to get us at the at, and the only place that has no moat is the door. Hi! Chop, chop, chop. But that's not viable anymore. So, um, what can I do with what? Oh, wow. Everyone is just out of my reach. Or at least out of my easy reach. Ah, screw it. I am actually going to not equip my shield. I'm going to two-hand wield my sword now. All right. So let me unequip my shield. And back to actions, long sword. Just flat roll, not a no flag, right? Correct. Good. Okay. 
Oh, wait, what am I doing? I have dice. I'm rolling them. Uh, 20. That'll hit. A dirty 20. The absolute filthiest of 20s. A 20, a 20 who knows what it did and enjoyed every minute of it. And has well, no it is promise knocked. That'll be uh, 16. All right. Nice. And that's my first attack. I'm going to guess that a um, 13 does not hit. It does not. Your sword clangs off of the bone armor. Uh, save my action search. All right. That will bring us back to Mez. All right, looking in the door, can I see, uh, since I'm standing literally right in front of it, uh, can I see where Dimitri and the others are? Um, Dimitri is still pressed against the window. Amelia has started to move people into the sewers. It looks like this is all happening. Of course, this is all happening in real time. So, so she is in the process of doing that, but Dimitri is still looking out the window. So I'll call out, Dimitri, do you like dogs or spiders? Spiders. I will step 10 feet forward. Let me uh, click on the right thing. Uh, bonus action. I will start uh, my sensor will ignite and start billowing really, really thick smoke, uh, mm -hmm. creating obscurement, and I'll just start swinging it. Um, can you tell me what, uh, or actually you control the smoke and it's uh, how much I get. So could you yeah. show me how much I'm creating? Yeah, it is a uh, it is a five foot square around you for your spin. Oh, no, I'm sorry, a 10 foot square around you for your spin. So give me just one second. I will draw that for you. Because it, it is the reach of your weapon. Okay, thank you. So I was not informed. Uh, yeah, sorry. No, that I'm telling you now, so you know. Much appreciated. Yeah. There should be a gray square. I don't know why it's gray. But hold on, let me see if I can change the color. Oh, I got this. I got this. I got it. Okay, cool. Yes, All that. Right. That is the smoke. So, so Queden, you are, uh, you feel smoke obscure you, and you can hear the, of the creature on the other side trying to smell for you. But you are currently uh, obscured. I Man, is the I'm door still open or is the door closed? The door is closed. Okay, so I will. The drop plan back. I had was was kaput. So I will drop back and I will start summoning. Okay. So and was this smoke? This smoke was this the? Was this the use of darkness? Uh no no this is not the use of darkness this is my uh my weapons ability okay um, so it creates the uh, bonus action it ignite the sensor and create billowing smoke in an area while in the smoke you are obscured yeah um and um basically how long many turns it lasts is up to you yes um but it does travel with you to okay. keep you obscured. All right. As, That's as, why I because, was trying, I was trying smoke, to create yeah. it and then move so that way it would trail a little bit. Uh, but... Yeah. Um, so, yeah, but the smoke will move there. Queden will have one turn of obscurement, but then it will move to you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I'll pass my turn. Okay. Queden. Great. Okay. Uh, so, the thing about this combat, all of these guys are lovely. None of them ring sisters to me. Uh, <laughs> so I think we might be yeah, in the long you run. You caught that, did you? <laughs> I think we might be in the long run here uh, with this with, with this one. Uh, so I'm going to do some preventative Sir measures and bonus. Some, I'm bonus action shield of faithing myself. Okay. Certainly could have been uh, the vo couldn't have been the voices you heard on the wind. No. What? Probably also has nothing to do with the red clouds. <laughs> cool. So that's that. And I was going to do something. Oh, oh, I have one turn of obscurement and then mm -hmm. not. OK, mm -hmm. See, I was going to do something else, but attacks while obscured. 
Do attacks while obscured have advantage? Um, against or, you have or... advantage because of flanking. I have advantage because of flanking right now. Yeah, Zara is flanking. I'm you. here to help. Cool. Well, then I guess I'll just I I guess I'll just do a do an attack. Okay. Um. And yeah, I will feel very grateful for <laughs> the surrounded weapon. I like look up. I say, uh, "Figure of Stendhal." Nice to be acquainted. Anyway, um, uh, let's just let's hit him with a. Let's just let's hit him with a second level guiding bolt. Okay, that will have disadvantage because oh. it is a ranged spell attack in melee. Oh, you're so right. Actually, um, in that case. Though, because you were flanking, it would just be a flat roll. So yeah, do with that what you will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take advantage of of the advantage. Uh, I completely forgot about that. Inflict wounds and if you have that. We'll have advantage. Are they not? Did you not tell me last time they were immune to or resistant to necrotic? Not the werewolves. Different. Yeah, different. Okay. Enemies. Different. The mushroom creatures. Cool. Are. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> thank you for that correction. I, yeah. Th th thank you. Mm -hmm. In that case. Second level inflict wounds, baby. Okay. Roll to hit, please. That'll be a 24. That'll do it. Mm-hmm. With that damage. Ugh, not great. 12. Okay. Normally, I would say not great, 12. But th thinking about how many dice you actually roll for a second level inflict wounds, so, that is a little sad. So it's 4d10, yeah. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> uh, that's a bonus action and action, and I'm sure as heck not going to move right now. So All right. that'll be my turn, yeah. Okay. Uh, so we're going to move to the... Armored werewolves. Uh, the one that is in the stuff is going to try and get out. Uh, because if he ends his turn, he'll take more damage. Uh, so he's going to roll an athletics check to try and climb out. Boy, could you guys roll higher than a five? He stays in the water. Could do not roll higher than a five. And he's going to take some more necrotic damage. All right. Okay. Um, this werewolf is going to move to here. This one will move to here. This one will move to here. And this one is going to run to here. And it is going to attempt to do something. You don't know what it's doing yet, but you can see that it is running with intention. Um. So whatever happens with that one's going to happen next turn. Uh, but one of them is going to take two swipes at Zir. First one will be an 18. Hits. All right. That will be eight slashing. Okay. And the second attack, a 17. Hits. Okay. That will be 10 slashing damage. Okay. All right. Bye, now, ten health. Uh, three of them will attack Bosric. One will attack Clovis. Uh, it will, this will be the one against Clovis. It attacks twice. Uh, 16. Does not hit. Okay. Natural 20. That one's going to hit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, that will be 21 slashing damage. Ouch. Ooh. All right. And now the three against Bosric, the first one. Dirty 20. That'll hit. 11 slashing. Second attack. 17. Just hits my armor. Okay. 12 slashing. 
The second one will make its two attacks. That will be a miss. Now that I know what your armor class is. And a hit. Uh, so you take 10 slashing. Down to 20 hit points. Okay. Oof. And the third one. Uh, that is a hit for seven slashing. And a hit for uh, nine slashing. I'm, no, I'm going to spend a luck point. Okay. Do I roll that or do you? I do. Okay. Uh, it's a miss. So you do take the seven, but not the nine. Uh, and that will be the end yeah, of their turn. Clovis. Question. Um, did you guys cry out or anything while you were getting the crap kicked out of you, or were you just soldiering through? <laughs> I need I'm to, probably I'm gave an, I probably gave an angry roar. Okay. Oops. Zir? Cry no, out? Not no, not I'm necessarily. Not you wouldn't have cried out? Okay. Uh, no. Clovis, were you hit at all or no? Uh, yes, I was. Did you cry out at all or no? Uh, yeah, I think definitely, because I do think that is actually the first time that Clovis has gotten hit. Um, and it was a pretty which, hefty hit, Which too. is a very fun thing for him to deal with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. No, that changes, uh, changes something, so I needed to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess my response, like, in terms of cry out, like, I'm sure there would have been some audible noise. I, I think it'd be pretty difficult to be decked and not make some amount of noise, but yeah. Zir wouldn't have necessarily yelped or yeah. anything like that. Okay. Especially because y'all just got like Wolverine slashed, like bone claws. It's not great. Yeah. So it would have been pain. So I would have said like there, there's definitely some noise of pain, but it wasn't like anything beyond normal. All right. My combat purpose has radically changed. So I'm very worried about this this guy down here. I think you're the closest to that guy down there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think, I'm. <laughs> I think on getting hit, uh, as as is uh, now Clovis, I think you just hear like a. Ah! Oh, oh no! Uh, and I'm gonna cast Spirit Guardians. Oh, cool! Me. All um, right, and you will see each clad with a like uh, Roman pylum and a tower shield version of Clovis's. Uh, tortoise shell shield uh a like legion of of spectral warriors appear you also still have your uh, weapon yes i do all um, right so that is a 15 foot square yes jesus and that is decent damage uh 15 damage to everything within the square right or do they have a save okay hold on um, yes, they make a wisdom save. Everything within 15 feet of you. Yes, uh, I can designate who I don't want it to hit, and okay. I don't want it to hit my friends. Okay, that's so much. Uh, because currently everything is within 15 feet of you, except the guy down there. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's yes. how much? 15? Yes, uh, they make All a right. wisdom saving throw. So I'm going to start with the one that has gotten beaten up the most. Let's see if these guys can make wisdom saves like those uh, mushroom guys. Ah, uh, he sure can't. So he'll take 15 damage. All right. He's not looking so hot. All right. Yeah, no, that's great for you guys. Uh, all right. Been the better one when that, I drop a pillar on him. The one that is directly in front of you, Clovis, uh, will also take the damage. All right. Oh, and if they if they succeed, they still take half damage. Okay. Good to know. Uh, just going down the line. I didn't realize literally all of them except for the one we're in it. Well, but and also like the one this. that is currently burning in necrotic ooze. Uh, yeah, that, that as well. But I, I have a sneaking suspicion he's fine. Yeah. I don't know that I don't know that he needs to take this damage. I think we'll be all right. <laughs> I'm down to 13 points. I think he absolutely does need to take the wow. damage. Wow. But the guy that 
I think we need every damage we can get on our enemies. He did main character. All right. All right. It's fine. I'll drop a pillar on him later. So uh, it is pillar time. Yes, <laughs> it's it is. pillar time. <laughs> it is. I didn't even do time. that on purpose. And uh, the pillar, which has sort of like flopped down onto this uh, wolf last turn, is going to stand up and do like the Pixar lamp, like jump. I'm like, <laughs> Okay. Uh, I just fall back down onto him. So that's the same guy, Green? Uh, yes. All right. All right, uh, cool. So that's a 16 to hit. Um, So this time as the pillar comes down, it sees it coming and puts its arms up and actually catches the pillar and pushes it off. That's Ooh. crazy. Because it's not <laughs> real. That guy's strong. Um, Okay. That is all. All right. Uh, Zier. Hello. Let's see. Hmm. I think I may as well slice at the man I'm already next to. You might as well. You have advantage. Might as well, huh? I'm a little worried about the grouping of four up ahead, but I'm already Just here. Pl so uh, please kill it so that I can go and cure with some wounds. Yeah, please. Exactly. Yeah. Please. So I'm a I'm a I'm a sneaky slice, hopefully, with my cool, glowy rapier. I know you said it's a magic weapon. Are you is that as in I now have a plus one for both? hit and damage as well or just it counts uh, no as a it just it counts as a magic weapon and uh, and bypasses resistance great okay but as i recall you get fire damage i do yeah. i have a d4 fire damage that was the part i remembered i just couldn't remember if there were any other things okay Whoops. well then i will roll to hit and i got a 24 that'll sure hit heck yeah Death is here, the burninator, burninating the werewolves. I'm burninating. Okay, so that was just the D8 plus four, and then I don't have, I have not macroed it out to where it'll okay. roll the D4 automatically. That is okay. So just roll but a D4. Here's the D4 for fire okay. damage. All right. Uh, this guy's looking pretty tough, but he's still muscling it out as best he can. May I? Wails from the grave. You may not. <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, excellent. I will target a second creature, which I'll have be the one right in front of Clovis, Mr. Purple here. Um, and it will take 2d6 necrotic damage which will also happen to the one I just injured. And I got max damage, baby, 12. Okay, so you did the one you just damaged, and which other one? And purple. Purple. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yes. That fire damage is apparent because you are rolling hot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's so... what I get for being stuck in traffic for an hour, baby. I'm here so... to go now. <laughs> Clovis, you you see this now. This this is the first time that anyone other than Zir has seen this. You swear you see the outline of a minotaur haul off and punch this lichen across the face, and then it fades as if you never saw it at all. Uh, fully surrounded by his own <laughs> spectral legionnaires that he doesn't know how he summoned, he's just like a minotaur. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect <laughs> um and then zir what you see is you see that punch happen and then the minotaur turns and you hear at the edge of your vision leave my sister alone as oh. this minotaur fully headbutts the one in front of you nice thanks bestie right. <laughs> thanks sib and that will will that be all for zir um Hmm. I'm gonna dart a glance at Queden. Does it look like he needs me to stay where I am, or can I can I head into the thick of it? Into the thick of it. Into the I 
I'm I would advise staying because I'm about to go and yes. heal. Understood. And I don't and I yeah. Yeah. That was that was kind of where I was leaning already. So I think I would just shoot you a glance to get a vibe check and I can tell that you're at the ready. And so I would just stand my ground here. Precisely. Perfect. As thick as we want it to get. <laughs> Yeah. We don't want it to be any thicker. No thicker, please. <laughs> Too many cooks. Okay, perfect. Then I'm happy where I'm at. All right. They are they are already down with the thickness. So we're gonna move on to Bosric. Thickness. Is it me or is it um or is it Missouri? I thought he had a better he does, I dropped but myself. He, chose, he dropped. Oh, I thought that was just for the one third. No, I I from what I understand, he dropped himself for the purposes of the initiative order. Oh, I didn't yes. roll my sneak attack okay. damage. I'm so sorry. It rolled did in. Do that? It oh, rolled it automatically. Yeah. Yay! Excellent. Yeah, I've I've been tracking it. Don't worry. I got you, <laughs> Thank fam. You so I got much. you, fam. <laughs> I forget that it rolls it automatically. That's yeah. so beautiful. Let me tool with my uh sheet and let me see if I can get that D4 to roll automatically as well. Right on, right on. Thanks. Um Asshole. I will use a bonus action of Fighting Spirit to gain advantage and 510 hit points. Yeah. Also, did everyone remember their Hero's Feast hit points? No! <laughs> okay. I did for the second they lasted. I How sure many? did. How many is it? I had 14. I don't know if that was the same for everybody else. I was... Uh, go ahead and roll 2d10. Oh, I rolled it last time. Wait. Okay, I did remember it at the time. Good stuff. <laughs> um, first thing I'm going to do is is yell to Missouri. Missouri to the south. There's one heading for the building. Tie him up or something. Um, and then which of the four in front of me looks most hurt? Purple. Then purple shall receive the first ire. Oh, I will also switch to sword and shield because two handed okay. didn't work so well. But yeah. I, he will receive the first strike of my ire. Sounds good with advantage. <laughs> I just I just looked at the chat and saw roll for viscosity. I hate that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that will be a twenty uh, three. That'll do it. Um, just to to save everyone time, the DC, the AC you are looking for is eighteen. Uh, that'll be a ten. All right, it will take ten damage. Second strike. Uh, that will be a uh, twenty-two. Mm -hmm. For another ten. All right. Uh, how's he looking? Uh, still standing, but um, decidedly bloodied. Well, then I will action surge, and I will hit this man two more times. All right. And I will do so viciously with the intent of intimidating his fellows. Okay. Masterwork Sword 19 crit, baby! There you go. <laughs> uh, so, so that that's... is max damage plus a roll. Uh, that is... 14 plus 7. 21? All right. He's still standing. That one supersedes advantage. Fuck. Can I make an intimidate roll to try and intimidate his fellows? Because you got a crit, yes, I'll allow it. 16 plus... Uh, dirtiest of 20s. Absolutely filthy 20. Okay. Um... It seems like you can see fear in the eyes of the ones surrounding you. But then there is a flash of something else, as if they are no longer in control of their own mind. That's the way we're playing it. Mazura! 
So uh, knowing that I even I <clears throat> don't get it, uh, I'm in the middle of my obscurement. I've heard them yell, so I will step outside of my obscurement, um, sw still swinging my blazer, and then go, this is going to get dangerous. Be careful. And you probably all think I'm speaking to you. <laughs> um, until this bad boy comes out. And uh, an ice spider queen materializes out of smoke right next to uh, our three friends. Um, he's a, he's a, he's a happy, uh, happy, that's a happy gal right there. And then <clears throat> looking at the, uh, which one of those looks like they're hurt um, the least? Blue and green. Blue it has and green? Taken no damage. Okay. The other two, what about them? uh they they're they've been hit but they don't look bad yeah i know so i can see your confusion clovis so this is going to go for everyone as well if you nat 20 a save it negates it good to know understand mm -hmm. um <clears throat> with the uh sensor i'll kind of shoot it out in front of me and point at the uh the pink one and say that one and i will bonus action cast x okay um and then i will just uh move back into um just the outside of my smoke okay. um so you didn't hear my message at all okay uh, no i'm gonna i'll talk to you and say and okay. I'll, I'll, the, as i go back into the smoke all you hear is <laughs> i'll see what i can do and i'll just disappear back into the smoke um, and so then I'll place myself in front of the door. Um, that being said, uh, the Ice Spider Queen um, will be taking a, a fantastically fun attack mm -hmm. um, to bite the pink one. All right. And so that's going to be... That is going to be a 19. Uh, that'll hit. Okay. And I will roll for damage since I don't feel like doing math. <laughs> okay, so that will be nine piercing, uh, fifteen poison. But you have to, I believe, you have to do a save on that one. Um, so you need to do a uh, DC eleven Constitution saving throw. Okay. And you said it was nine piercing. Um. Yes, uh, sir. It will be nine piercing. Right. And then um, roll your save. Roll the constitution save. Yes. All right. Man, these guys can't one? roll saves to save a save. Their so life. that will be no, fifteen. Uh, that'll be fifteen poison damage. Yes. And then on top of that, um, because of my hex, technically uh, I've done the damage. So yeah. it will be. Where's my six side? Oh, there it is. Okay. That'll be an additional four necrotic damage when I hit with an attack. So okay. four more damage on top of that. Okay. Uh, that will um, end my turn. However, um, I do have cold aura on that spider. So any creature that starts its turn within five feet of the queen takes 2d4. So just let me know okay. when they start and I'll start rolling. Okay. Um, this actually, like I was just looking at the sheet and I did forget something. Um, so it didn't actually affect anything, but this is important. When you crit with your masterwork sword against purple, Bosric, mm -hmm. your sword did not seem to get purchase. However, the bone armor on that on purple's chest shattered. So just that happened, and we'll deal with that. What that means going forward, Queden, you're up. Awesome, I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Uh, you watch me snap my fingers. I envelop myself in darkness. Bonus action, hidden step. Okay. And that is until the start of my next turn. So with that in mind, I'm gonna position myself right here. Uh, and 
uh, give Bosric a second level cure wounds. All right. Sounds good to me. It'll be 12 points for you there, friend. Thank you kindly. Yes. And that's bonus action, action, movement. That is... Uh, do I want to move anymore? Uh, I think I'm good. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right. It is now the top of the Lycan's turn. They all need to roll for spirit guardians. Yep. And they need to roll for the... Uh, they just take 2d4 damage. So go ahead and roll the uh, 2d4. That is not affected by Hex, by the way. That would be a little overpowered. Can't hear you, Mez. I said, well, come on. I mean, like, th that's literally the only uh, argument I have against that is, come on. <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool, though? <laughs> but, like, it's pretty cool. Um, so it was seven on the top one. It is six on yellow. And blue-green will take Five. Okay. Alrighty. If I and do now, the next three and it's three, two, <laughs> it's, I'm gonna yeah. be like Um, okay, so Spirit Guardians is a wisdom save, if I recall correctly. You do recall correctly. Thank you. Uh what is my DC? Um, the DC is 17. Okay. Purple has failed. Pink has failed. Yellow has failed. Blue green has failed. He is no longer the main character. All right. 14 for 14 radiant damage for fails. Okay. Also, um, just keep in mind pink has disadvantage on wisdom saves because of hex. Okay. Uh wisdom checks. Wisdom checks, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Hex should be saves, but it isn't. Eh, it should be. Um, but that, that, fuck, that, fuck is a, um, <laughs> that is a caveat I'm not willing to make because it would make it way too strong. Come on. Um, Come on. Uh, Come okay, on. so... Um, Clovis, how do your spirit guardians delete purple? Um, so I think, uh, because, uh, it, it was attacking Clovis, so he's sort of shield up, like guarding against it. And I think just three spears from these many, uh, legionnaires, just like around Clovis's turtle shield, just right in the hole that Bosric made in the armor. Mm. Just... Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. So let's see if blue can make his happy way out of the acid. <laughs> Which is totally not acid. There. Totally forgot he was there. He makes it out. I'm uh, proud of character. him. He may be a bad guy, but I'm proud of him. And he is very displeased with the little satyr girl that put him in there. Uh, there are bits of him that are just falling off. Like, the right side of his face, you can see under that bone armor, is completely gone. And you can see, like, kind of that nasty, like, two-faced grin going all the way up to where his jaw would be. Uh, he does not look good. Red, I'm sorry, but did he enter the range of spirit guardians? Uh, I believe that he did, yes. I'm going to need him to roll that wisdom save real quick. <laughs> yeah, I cannot say that these guys are intelligent. Uh, he he succeeds. Whoa, he still takes seven damage. Yeah, but, I know, but, but I'm proud of him. Yeah. This guy's having a terrible day. He's the new main character. Revenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay. So, blue and green are both going to attack Zier. Uh, they both get two attacks. Oh, boy! Uh, first one, I believe, will miss, because it, it that can't possibly hit you. The second one will be an 18. That hits? For eight slashing. Okay. 
Uh, and then green will get its two attacks. Okay. Another 18. For Five eight hits. more eight more slashing. Heck yeah. H- how we doing, Zier? We're fine. Go ahead. All right. I believe in you. 23. That hits? 14 slashing. Okay. That's it for their attacks. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, okay. Paradise. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> um. Oh my hey. gosh! I have a reaction. Okay. Um, I can uncanny dodge that particularly nasty one. All right. So make that fourteen to seven. Excellent. All right. Um. Thank the Lord. <laughs> um. So Pink is going to keep attacking. Um, Bosric. Okay. Up to a 19 now. All right. First attack will miss. Second attack will miss. Uh, yellow will attack Bosric. Miss. Miss. And blue green. What will blue green do? Blue green is going to move to here and attack Bosric. Uh the ice spider will get a attack of opportunity. Yes. Why would he move to there and attack Bosric? So why would he, so mean. Why would he move to there specifically? <laughs> no, 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 I'm gonna actually Bosric is legitimately gonna look at this wolf. That's gonna be an 18 respect because he There's... thought tactically. I'm like Meets beats. Oh, fully invisible. Um, I'm not there so uh it's an 18 from yeah spider. Beats, beats oh it beats okay mm-hmm. uh let me roll for uh bite okay uh that's gonna be nine but i needed to roll that dc for the uh poison damage mm-hmm. i will resist the poison damage so it takes half okay so two yep all right and now it's going to get two attacks on Balsreek. Uh miss and hit. Seven slashing. I will regard it with respect. The a nod of Uh, it regards you with a look of hunger. And uh, Clovis, you're up. Yay! Stop. Um, totally ru- ruin the moment, man. Ruin the moment. <laughs> no, no, the moment's great, and I appreciate that you respect <laughs> him. He is not in control of his faculties. It's fine. It's um, fine. I am thankfully no longer engaged in melee combat, which is uh something that i was scared of um so going to uh pay a oh that would uh, i gotta keep myself kind of central so never mind um i think they'll all still be in range so close is going to take one uh one one square of movement northwards um and i'm going to look at mr blue who is currently in shambles um, and I am going to continue to shamble him. Uh, Clo- and Clovis is going to hold Roll out for his shamble. hand. <laughs> Roll to shamble. Uh, <laughs> hold out a hand and uh, summon sacred flame. Okay. Uh, so I need a uh, dexterity saving throw. Okay. AC 17. Okay. Thanks to my special crystal. Come on, buddy. Oh, he didn't do it. Oh. Well, then he's going to get, oh, terribly wounded, uh, 15 radiant damage. Yeah, he didn't care for that. No, I don't. Now the other side of his face is on fire. (laughs) Because there's nothing to burn on this side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, He looks at you and just like roars, but it sounds kind of a little bit like he's going... (laughs) uh how how's the how's the green one looking 
Uh, green's not doing great. Which one looks worse? Green. Green? Okay. I mean, well, blue looks worse, but green looks more damaged. Mm -hmm. Let's put it okay. that way. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, in that case, Blue yeah. did just take a dip in the alien blood. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to feel great. Uh, but uh, the pillar is going to, having been pushed off, is going to fall down and then start breakdance spinning and try and trip uh, green up. Okay. Why not? Why not? Uh, so going to roll two hits with that. Oh, that's an 11. That will not do it. Damn, he's got hops. He's All got right. hops. And uh, spiritual weapons can't flank, you said, correct? Um, no, they cannot. Okay. Because they are not physical entities. Hmm. Then it, it shall stay where it is. Okay. Zier. Hello. I stab. Real quick, before Zier goes, I did forget to activate someone. There's another guy. Okay. Um, but what sure, he's doing great. is just going to kind of be a, a thing that happens. Uh, he's going to continue awesome. his momentum, take a running jump, and crash through yeah. this window. He is now inside the tavern. So. Someone better get me that phone because I can call it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm terribly attached to Dimitri. Oh, Dimitri's gone. Dimitri's long gone. <laughs> it landed open mouth on Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be a bad day right there. Zier, go ahead. I'm gonna have to pray. Okay. Um, I mean, I will say Inside the Tavern is about to turn into just a game of Pac-Man, but... <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't see a whole lot that I can personally do about that situation. All right. Well, slicing... First things first, we slice. How about that? Okay. Um... Blue is close to death, and green is green is closer close to, to death, death than blue. Green is closer, right? Go for green. Uh, if he's looking pretty banged up at this point, non-lethal as always. The zero special. Okay. I know non-lethal in five E isn't even like really a thing. That was an eleven to hit. Unfortunate. Uh, that will kind of just glance off of this bone armor. Yeah, that's okay. Um, and with that, uh, uh, I will disengage <laughs> and. If you'll allow, as a bonus action, I'd like to. Bang on the door! <laughs> yeah, go for it. Uh, inside the door, you hear the <laughs> of this creature and a few muffled <laughs> gunshots. Oh, maybe they got it. Shotgun Granny's got it. It's fine. Everyone okay. will be fine. Sure. No does. child endangerment is occurring. Hoping at the oh, and let me I actually move here so that way I am. You do also hear screaming. The chaos. Okay, great. <laughs> cool. So I'm banging on the door and I've I've I just I stepped over, I corrected my movement a little bit so that way I'm inside the lovely little circle. If that circle's still present. A uh smoky it is, it has actually moved. Moved though, right? Yeah. I mean I think I'd still be in the corner right here though. There we go. Maybe. It is currently here. So yeah, you're you're in the smoke. Perf. Okay. All right. I'd be banging. I'd be banging <laughs> on the door. Fosric. Let me help you. Also, I'm injured. Okay. Cool. <laughs> well, because I have no reality bending powers, I'm simply going to focus. Um <laughs> Uh, so, because you are a fighter, I can tell you, pink looks awful. 
you you can you can judge woundage pink looks terrible that's a rude thing to say about someone you know they're just they're just awful to look at what a horrendous How's thing blue green doing blue green's fine blue green's taking barely any damage I guess I'll go after pink first. Well, am I flanking pink? Um, you are not flanking pink. You are flanking yellow. All right. Well, I'll, I will. Uh, do another. Uh, if you spirit. take a five foot, if you step up, up and risk the attack of opportunity from blue green, you can flank pink. I do not want to I do not want to do that. Fair I enough. Are useful. All right. So who are we attacking? Sorry, it came through a little uh, garbled. Pink. Pink? Okay. Yeah, my internet is being my internet is being a dick right now, so sorry about that. That's okay. Um so twenty Oh yeah. Twenty three. Uh-huh. Like I said, anything above 18. Or uh, 10. All right. I'm presuming he's still up. He is. Uh, 25. Mm -hmm. 14. All right. He is hanging on by a thread. But he is alive. Mazora, that will be you. All right. Uh, simple question. How how many squares can my large creature walk? It seems weird that he has a, walk, a, a walking speed as big as mine. Do you do the standard plus 10, or is it just the 30 feet? Uh, it's still the 30 feet um, because because of how many squares he takes up. Because he is uh, a large and lumbering creature, it does take him a little longer to move. All right. Um, so I will have um, Spider Boy is going to go back after uh, Pink again because it's just a good it's just a good time. Okay. Spider Boy's really good, or Cider Gal, because that's a nat twenty. <laughs> okay. Uh, not that it matters too much. What's the rule for nat twenty? Uh, so under normal circumstances, and this is why I said I made a mistake last time, under normal circumstances, it is full damage, full damage plus a roll. But for these creatures specifically, a crit destroys their armor and you roll regular damage. Oh, okay. So his armor shatters. But that was enough. How does the ice spider kill this critter? Um, right as it... Uh... Since it's a bite, as it comes down, instead of biting, I'm going to say it, it tries to pin it to the ground with its front leg, since uh, the image it does have them at points, icy points. Mm -hmm. And as it spears it and goes down through the body and destroys it, the spider just howls in the face of uh, this poor son of a bitch. Okay. Um, um, I, it's not really going to matter, the hex damage. Uh <laughs> no. He had four hit points. You did four damage. He's dead. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's sad. Um, all right. Uh, so that'll end Spider Gal's turn. Um, I will, just looking out, I'll use my bonus action. My eyes will flash and I'll say, you to, um, funny enough, uh, the yellow one. Um, so now any damage done uh, will okay. uh, trigger... So damage. are you going to step out of the smoke and step back in to do that? Yeah. Okay. So I'll step out, step back in. How is the smoke looking? Is it dissipating at all or no? Uh, did you stop spinning? Um. Yeah, I stopped spinning last turn. Then yes, at the end of your turn, it will go away. Um. So do we hear, do I hear any kind of movement, somebody opening this damn door from Zier bashing on it? You don't. So I'm going to take the, I'm just going to grab the door like by the handle and just start to look like I'm pulling on it. And then just as I push in, um, I'm going to use Eldrick Blast. Okay. 
uh, to try to uh, destroy the lock uh, so I can get in. All right. Uh, you don't have to roll the hit because it's a door. Roll damage. All right. uh, this is a this is a sturdy construct, which means you need to roll at least ten damage. All right, that's that's a good time. Um, so it's going to be two. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, um, what how much damage I do with the first Eldritch blast? Uh, nine. nine. So that just hits the door, but it doesn't actually do any damage. It doesn't do any damage. No. All right, and then the second one, eleven. That does damage. You can see the door has started to bow in, but it hasn't completely opened yet. And as the door bows in, there is another scream and blood flies through the break. All right. And uh, since I moved out and moved back in, <laughs> that was all my movement. Uh, all right. I guess I'll just sit here and be sprayed by blood through a small crack in the door. That's good times. Um, yeah. yeah, I will uh, pass my turn. Okay. So you guys hear that sound on the wind again. And all of you hear it this time. So Zir, this is the first time you've heard it. But you hear that voice. Oh, Natasha, they're killing our babies. Oh, we can't tell them that. Can we, Ivanka? No, we cannot. Let's kill that one in the back. And the cloud manifests itself into two beautiful, pale-skinned, red-haired women that sit right next to Mazora. And Mazora, they are going to attack you twice. Uh, they, they are holding in their hand what looks like a giant fishing hook. And one of them tries to grab and hook it into your shoulder. Uh, 14, I think that misses. Miss. Oh, sorry, not you. Uh, okay, so Zier, that one grabs oh, you. No, that's fine. Uh, this one's grabbing Mazura now. Uh, well, it's going to try and attack you again, Zier. Because okay. it has two attacks. Uh, that misses. And now it's this one's going for Mazura. Uh, that will be a miss. And 14, Mazura? No, negative, negative. All right. I didn't realize I was muted. Yeah, no negative on 14. And then they just kind of make a hmm face and then vanish into the mist again. So that will bring us to Queenan. Cool. Do I get the impression from... Missouri's action and Zir's current placement that they are going to try to enter the tavern as soon as possible. Can I, is that a question I can ask? It's very obvious that I'm about to go You're... into the tavern. Cool. Um, we got Bosric. We got, okay. Clovis is out of melee range. He's fine. Uh, your Bosric is not doing great. But I have a feeling that Zira is doing worse. Yeah, uh, she needs she needs help with me. Cool. So I'm, I'm going fine. to look. I'm doing fine. <laughs> uh, so I'm I'm going to look around me. I'm going to say, I haven't disappeared this much since my last party, and I am going to once again <laughs> uh, envelop myself in darkness. Um, because I'm afraid of being hit, <laughs> and uh, that'll get me away from these guys. And I'm whoa, that's too far. I'll be right over here, and I will. Uh, I am going to also give you a second level cure wounds. Hold on. Can I that's an action. Can I just bonus can I just bonus action dis are you can I just bonus action disengage away from this? Do I have to use one of my hidden hidden steps? Uh, I mean, you're invisible still, right? Uh, yeah. N the hidden step ends at the start of your next turn. 
Okay. So uh, I would that's why I had to recast it. But you would I, you would need to use an action to not disengage. Using, yeah. I would need to okay. So I never mind. Uh yeah. Yeah. Or Sorry, or if you if you're casting it again, you don't also have to disengage. That yeah, that was my question. Yeah. It's like if I if I could just okay. Never mind. If you shadow step, you don't have to disengage. Yeah. Great. Well or whatever I, it is. I still want to cure wounds, so I'm okay. gonna do that. Um the total dice, please don't fail me. Not still not great, but a 12. Uh, you, that's 12. That's better than nothing. <laughs> to Zir. 12. Yes. Excellent. So I think, well, being invisible and like knowing I need to, knowing that that is a uh, <laughs> touch range spell, I am going to do a little like, it's me. It's 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 Queen. And, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna heal you now, and I'm just like I reach out, like I grab the wrist, like because I, I'm gonna. I forgot that I am currently invisible. No, this is great. I'm gonna tell you something interesting. Yeah. Zero doesn't seem surprised or shocked by it at all. Like she's like, cool. mm -hmm. yeah. There's a mystery thing touching me. Uh -huh. That, seem, that yeah. seems very. That seems very normal to her. I, well, I did say it's Queen. And I'm gonna heal you now, but like, yeah. <laughs> but the I would, but yeah, yeah. like I, I think both the touch and the sudden whisper next to her, you would notice oddly doesn't bother her at all. Sure. Yeah, okay. I'll file that away. Excellent. I, <laughs> just any just facial little, expression I make in return, little, you wouldn't see. So. Just a little tidbit for you. <laughs> all right. <laughs> And that's <laughs> my turn. Uh, do I want to move at all right now? I've been regretting not moving. Uh, uh, you technically did move. I've been regretting not moving with my leftover movement. Do I want to enter combat with this guy how's green looking uh not great i'll take my yeah don't worry they gotta pay the spark no tax. they do they do they do have a they do have a pillar above them uh okay that door is really damaged okay i will um i'm gonna move In front of this guy, knowing that he has disadvantage if he tries to hit me. Okay. Yay! That's my turn. Time to pay the Spartan tax. <laughs> Spartan tax. Um, all right. So let me go ahead and roll those. That beautiful bean footage. All right. Blue. Success. Out of Green. curiosity, did the sisters fly in? Success. They did. Okay. They flew in and flew back out, or they turned back into mist. Uh, but would Yellow they have still take damage? Guardians? They were they were outside of the range. They were outside. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately. Uh yellow also failed the wisdom save. So we'll take the full 21. Yes. S Seven ten. cold damage as well. Okay. Uh, all right. Only yellow failed. So yellow will take 28 damage total. And uh, 10 for the other three. Yes, correct. All right. Uh, more terrible shouting from the inside. Um. Okay. So blue is going to attack you, uh, Queden, twice. He can certainly try. He has disadvantage. Uh, well, he missed. So. Yay. 
Uh, well, 19 with disadvantage. He just, he, f- what? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I know. He's I'm, sl- I'm surprised swinging wildly in the darkness. Jesus. All right. Yeah. I can take it. He can smell you. Yeah. Yeah. I can smell you. Uh, eight slashing damage. Oh, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, green is going to move to right here. And wait for his comrade, blue-green, to move right here. Uh, Bosrick, you will get an attack of opportunity. Nope. Okay. Uh, and they will both make, an, make two attacks against you, Mazura. Whoops. Uh, come on. There we go. Uh, 19. That'll hit easily. 12 slashing. Yep. And second attack will hit for 21 slashing damage. Yep. The hit. And then the second one will make its two attacks. Miss. And 18? I know your armor class is pretty high. Uh, 18 will hit. Okay. Uh, that'll be 14 more slashing. All right. I'm down. Um, the spider is not, though. Couldn't hear you there, Dwarf. Um, no, I need to roll concentration checks on each one of those hits. The spider might be gone. Yeah. Uh, just on, um, just, you do it, uh, you just do one. You don't, you don't do it each time. You do it for the total damage at the end of turn. Uh, that'd be a net one. Okay. Uh, the spider takes half of its hit points as force damage, but it is not dead. All right. Uh, so you guys hear the spider screech as Missouri drops, but the spider stays where it is. Um, chaos from the inside, and now yellow is going to make two swings at Bosric. Uh, oof. That'll be a crit. That will be a luck roll. Okay. Good choice. Uh, that'll be a miss. And a miss. And that is the end of their turn. Clovis. Um, okay, so Missouri just went down. Um, uh, for the... Uh, yeah, okay. Um, first things first, I'm going to bonus action um, try and uh, spiritual weapon green. Uh, so Clovis is going to see Mazora on the ground, look at the uh, pillar and say, Stendar, go! Uh, and a a outline of a large bipedal turtle is going to appear next to the column, pick it up, and just javelin hurl it at the uh, at the green wolf. Love it. Torterra yeah. uses rock throw. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a 27 to hit. That'll hit. Direction awesome. rock smash. Uh, that'll be ten radiant damage. And as it lands on this wolf, it smashes it into paste. Awesome. Um, and then Clovis himself uh, is going to. Can I close? How much? How much distance can I go? Oh, all the way. Awesome. Um. This is going to move all the way here. Um, and um, okay, Clovis, you're moving into a cloud. Just so you know, there is a red cloud there. Are you sure you want to do that? My friend has gone down. Yes. Okay. So uh, when you I'm walk in, it. make a deck save for me. Awesome. Uh let's see. You probably cabby corner it from standing next to, to Zir. How do you mean, like down here? Like you, you can reach diagonally, right? If you were standing, 
If you're standing next if to you're standing here. Oh. Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um right? Yes, but I want to be in melee range. So I will I will. Um Okay. Uh did it it did not. Uh that is a critical success. 21. All right. Um you feel um as you walk in, it's like walking into a patch of briars. Things are like pulling at your skin and it's pulling at your clothes, but it doesn't actually penetrate. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, I'll lean down, put a hand on Missouri and say, I can't heal you, but I can offer you my sheep. Um, so you are stable. Hopefully that will matter. All right. Uh, and then going to just stand back up, shield ready. All right, let's go. Did you spare the dying? Yes. Okay, roll a d20 for me. Oh, fun. Um, I do this one through roll 20 because it's easier to roll. 19 on the die. Missouri, you are up with one hit point. All right. I'm so fantastic. <laughs> awesome. And Mazora, you are up. What? Well, I'm kind of fucked anyway. So, um, how does blue green look? Um, honestly, pretty good. Wait, whose turn is it? It's Mazora's. It's mine. Um, well, because oh, he... if Mazora, if Mazora, if you will allow Mazora to go first. It is no, no, I'm not. I'm, I didn't ask for it. I'm pretty much oh, okay. around right now, so I I don't know what's happening. So okay. my previous idea is gone. Okay. Um. Then in that case, it would be Zier's turn. Okay. I can do that. Um. Well, a little free action moment. I'll bang on the door some more. Okay. I think it's just going to open because it was already cracked open from my blast. Um, so the door is a sturdy object with 20 HP. It has nine left. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no, they built this door to repel threats. Yeah. So yeah. I'll bang on the door a little bit more. Not enough to, like, make it a whole thing, mm -hmm. but I'll just, like, <laughs> in passing, uh, just... Ah. Roll a persuasion check. Sure. I'd love to. I've got a very charismatic knock. 16. Okay, so with that 16, you hear what sounds like someone attempting to move it, and then it shifts, and you see a tiny hand reach out and start oh. to very slowly open the door and say, shh, be quiet, I'm hiding. And you recognize Dimitri's voice. Oh, boy. Okay. Is it enough for me to now be able to enter? Yes. Tight. All right. So now I have to do something real quick as you uh, enter the room. Well, I'll give a I'll give a look to. Uh, no, I wouldn't. This is a child. Yeah, priority. Um, this is what you <laughs> said. Clovis, he's not even here. <laughs> uh, there are five eviscerated bodies on the floor. Dimitri is sure. hiding behind this barrel. Sure. Uh, and he seems, it seems like the creature inside cannot see him. Um, okay. Amelia Thane is over here, not dead, but clutching a severe wound. And the wolf is bleeding from its mouth. And like, you can see like sh gunshot wounds, but it is not dead. Okay. Excellent. I... Well, charge in there. Okay. Which, uh, you know, in typical zero passion, is not a great <laughs> idea, but that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'll get right up in its face. Okay. And let's see. I'll, I'll rip here at it. And All I'll right. be very loud about it. I think normally, um, normally, like she's pretty quiet on her feet, like almost eerily so. But I think mm -hmm. 
anyone who's paying attention, it would be like she's very obviously stepping loudly to draw attention to herself. Mm -hmm. um, and so she'll get right in front of this thing and uh, give it a little rapier slash. That is a 25 to hit. That'll hit. Great. There's some damage. And then I couldn't figure out how to make it part of it, but I added a little extra thing. So there's my fire. <laughs> okay. So uh, it is not sneak attack. So you'll nope. do 10 damage to it. Perfect. Okay. And let's see. I don't believe there's any other helpful thing I can do at the moment. Oh, can we say bonus action? I closed the door behind me. <laughs> um, or would you count that as an action? <laughs> I'll say that's a free action object interaction. Okay, great. Yeah, so I closed the door behind me. That's my turn. Okay, Osric. You are currently flanking yellow with the spider. That's a real critical. <laughs> All right. Uh, the armor shatters. Go ahead and roll damage. Only a... Seven. Okay. Second swing. Um, a uh, 21. That'll hit. Uh, 11. All right. It goes, uh, it goes to it, 11. It looks messed up. Uh, but it is not quite dead. Mazora and Madam Webb. Uh, Dwarf, you're muted again. Uh, nah, it was your hearing, I, I swear. Uh, clearly it was my hearing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so Ice Spider, Spider Queen is going to turn around and attack again that uh sadly is only going to be a 17 um that will hit now that bosric shattered its armor all right well, which i like to think i did with a shield bash you narrate however you want it <laughs> i didn't um all right go ahead and narrate how this one dies <laughs> uh Ice so this one finisher. is yeah um <laughs> The Ice Spider Queen's pretty uh, tick, so she's actually going to reach down, use her front two legs, grip him, and just as she takes a bite out of him, rip him in two and throw the pieces. So this looks horrifying to anyone looking, because I'm going to do a little bit of nightmare imagining with the Ice Spider. Your Nightmare Ice Spider has a crab mouth, so it just opens in like five directions. Oh, yeah, that's good <laughs> stuff. That's what you want. Yeah. And yeah, then, it's, it's horrifying. And so I will say, as it starts to walk down to where I am, mm -hmm. just uh, let me see if I could do this. And then, uh, let's see. Six is right on top of, uh, of us. Mm -hmm. And just gr gripping my side, I'm really bad. I'm just going to, I'm already holding my sensor. And I'm just going to look right at um, the shield is uh, Clovis, right? The shield is Clovis, correct. I'll look at, I'm just going to look him right in the eyes and go, I hope you're not afraid of the dark. And I'm going to just out of the sensor when I just hit it against me, I'm swinging it again, but just a pitch blackness surrounds us um, as I cast darkness. All right. Trying to get the uh how large is darkness? Um 15 foot radius. Okay. So that is a six by six. And I'm trying to figure out how to remove six. One, two, three, four. Squares. But I'm failing. Five, six. Wait. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. All right. There is your darkness, and it's centered on you, correct? 
Uh, yes, it's on my sensor, so it is centered on me. All right. Bazinga. Can I move that or? Uh, I think oh, you good. should be able to, yeah. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Wait, nope. Wait, no, it's yeah. not. No, nope, it, it needs an additional, uh, it goes an additional square up and to the left. Here, I actually think I can, yep, there we go. There it is. That's how big it is. There we go. <laughs> Great. And uh, I'll have to end my turn there. Okay. Cool. Um, Keep in mind that that darkness actually does cross through corners. So I believe Dimitri right now is in pitch blackness. <laughs> he is, yes. Um, so you guys will hear in the dark, because you are now all in the dark, uh, and Bosric and Quedan, you cannot see into the dark, and Zir, neither can you. You'll just hear, Oh my, there's so much fun, sister! Oh, it is a shame Katya cannot be here to meet them. Do you think Matar thinks that we have tested them enough? I think so. Let's leave the pets behind for them to deal with. Ta-ta, little people. We'll see you soon. Quedan. Yeah. I've got to... Okay. I... Once... As, as predicted, I immediately regretted my choice to move. Um... However, okay, so everyone, de okay, definitely Missouri needs some help. Nah, he's fine. But, he's got this. Right. But <laughs> everyone is missing something, right? Like, everyone's been hit. Oh, we're all yeah. missing something, bud. All right. Yeah, I don't know that anybody's um, in a good place. I just I'm think that Missouri's in a bad place. Yeah, I, my thing is, I know we're going to... I'm just I'm thinking about my spell slots. Uh yeah. so All right. We'll give it a we'll give it a try. I am going to yeah, range is 60 feet. Um mass healing word to all of my friends uh plus I have one other uh Do you need to be able to see us to target no. us with this? Everyone within 60 feet. Oh exactly. good. I was about to say. Oh, you, probably get, you probably get Lady Amelia. Thank goodness. Like, yeah, I, yeah, I, I suppose from outside I wouldn't be able yeah. to tell. Like, can I just like target the source of the yells I was able to hear? Like, yeah, yeah, Lady Amelia here. Yeah. Cool. Uh, unfortunately, the people on the ground are very dead. But uh -huh. you can heal cool. Lady Amelia. Anybody All have right. four diamonds? <laughs> Gonna roll. That's a. Yes, I was actually, I was actually plus... planning to propose to four different women. I have four different. Diamonds. Hey, max damage. Y'all nice. get eight. Woo. Eight. Cool. Uh, so yep. Zier, inside, as you feel your wounds close up, you can see Lady Amelia kind of sit up a little bit straighter, and move her hand away from a wound at her side. Mm -hmm. Excellent. How much was that? Sorry. A wink at her, points. as if to claim it. <laughs> <laughs> I did that. <laughs> I'm here to help you. <laughs> um, uh, and I'm going to finally uh, be smart and start using my cantrips. And I'm going to uh, uh, hilariously, I'm going to point to the guy still d directly in front of me and I'm going to toll the dead at him. Um, okay. Nice. Obligatory uh, Laura Bailey references. Toll the dead. <laughs> Wisdom yeah. save? That is a wisdom save, yeah. All right. DC? 16. Doesn't matter. Roll to five. Great. Roll that beautiful bean footage. All right. That is a... It's taken damage, right? It has taken severe damage. That This is the one that's missing half awesome. of its face. <laughs> it's the acid one. I, yeah. Oh, this is the acid one. That's right. Cool. Yeah. So that's a D12 for you, mother. That's a six. Okay. It will take six damage. All right. Uh, during the, <laughs> go ahead. Sorry, I was laughing. I'm always laughing at chat. This is... Oh yeah. I told the told the dead Adam. Yes. Um. Okay. So um. 
um, uh, on the d20 on the 20 count amelia is going to take a shot with her rifle uh she will succeed so that is five she does 15 damage and um Zir, you hear the first gunshot and you recognize where it comes from. But then you hear a click from the darkness in the direction of the barrels. And a tiny whimper and another explosion, slightly smaller than the rifle, as Dimitri fires a pistol that he stole He's with got a disadvantage, gun. but he's still going to shoot. Um, he unfortunately does miss, but he's doing his best. Appreciate it. We need and to it keep him now, away from any and all smoke. <laughs> it is now the werewolf's turn. Um, Blue Green, who is in the smoke, is going to attempt a perception check he's to try and smell the Spartan tax. Doesn't oh, he, he, he still takes his cold damage? Yes. So first, uh, wisdom save for the Spartan tax. He fails. And he will take his cold damage. All right, let me roll it. Four. 13. All right. He will take full damage. Uh, he is going to try and smell you. This will be his action, though. So he's going to sacrifice his turn to try and get past the fact that he's in darkness. Uh... He's able to scent your blood. But so Mazora, he's focused on you. Because you're the most injured. But that is his turn. Clovis, you're up. Um. Hmm. I need to be able to see to do most. Clovis, you're not up yet. There are two other wolves. Okay. Bet you were all hoping I'd forget. Uh, this is going to be two on Actually, Quedon. Clo um, is it Clovis's turn? Uh, the wolves, I think, go right before me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, the wolves go say, right before him. I just saw you're standing right next to the spider queen. <laughs> uh, so, Quedon, a 19 to hit. All right. 12 That'll slashing. And then that will hit as well for eight more slashing. Okay. And then two on Zir. Uh, that's going to hit, Zir. Hey! You're going to... You're going to take 23 slashing damage. <laughs> I hated the way you hesitated there. <laughs> that's for the first hit? The singular? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Go ahead. Next one. And... Go gosh, you're doing, you're doing so well. I'm so happy for you. It misses. Yeah! What's your HP, Zier? Who knows? <laughs> not I. Not you. Not anybody. No one needs to know. Do you have the un ability to uncanny dodge that? I do. I don't okay. wanna. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna... Well... I guess there isn't really any reason to save that. You get it every turn, huh? Mm -hmm. I could uncanny dodge that. Gosh. Okay. My you might as well. Are, my friends are so smart. Make You're insisting on being a barbarian, so yeah, <laughs> you know, barbarian rogue. I we're getting there for sure. All right, now okay. now the wolves. So are it's twenty three. Am I rounding up or down? For the half. Um, you're rounding down, so you take eleven. Okay. Right. Oh, well, I'm doing okay. I'm doing all right, maybe. Thanks, Preston. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, do I have to pay the spider tax? Is that what I heard? You do. <laughs> Darn. Okay. How much? How much is the spider taken from me? Um, can you roll ice damage for the spider, Dwarf? Ice damage? Yeah. 
Yeah. It's three. Okay, three. that's how much damage you take. Oh, beans. All right. Um, well, I can't see, so I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Um, I know the general direction of the door, and I know people have gone in it. So I think Clovis is going to go for the door and try to get inside because mm -hmm. he knows there's a problem in there. Um, do I have to do a roll about it to get in there? or She closed the door, so... And it's uh, darkness. If you uh, there's darkness um, in that square in front, right? I'm I'm I don't know if there if there was a lock reengaged when the door was closed, or if I can just push it back open. You can just push it back open. I don't think there's any way that that Zier locked the door. Okay, cool. There's a bar that has to be thrown on it. I thought. In that case, yeah, I can get to about there, um, which is perfect. Uh, so Clovis is gonna like push through the darkness Ugh! oh uh and and like sort of uh nudge up against uh zir and i do need this man because the spirit guardians are entering his space to uh pay the uh spartan tax um and uh as he does uh clovis is gonna uh get up next to zir and say charging into trouble again yeah <laughs> It's like, it's like what uh, I fail. do. <laughs> awesome. Um, so, oh, do you want him to take the same damage as the previous roll? Like, do you want it to just be a roll for the turn and then whatever gets hit gets no, hit? No, this or... is fine. Okay. Um, so yeah, takes that 10. Uh, <laughs> you, you see Clovis come charging through the door and then a bunch of spectral like Romans coming behind him. Just like, like, oh, stand up! Uh, and they all just dogpile onto this uh, dogpile onto this wolf in front of us. Nice. Um, yeah. Uh, um, what is Clovis actually going to do? Is the question. Um, I think uh, he's got it. He's got it in his hand. Uh, I think Clovis is as he's running through the door, looking at his mace, just like I guess this is what I'm doing, uh, and he's gonna try and swing uh at this at this wolf uh uh with a 24. Ooh. that'll hit all right let's go mace uh that is seven damage with my regular human mace i don't okay. know if, if it is my regular human mace. uh yeah. that yeah that is definitely resisted but awesome yeah it's fun figured you see Clovis swing his weapon, and uh, you see that he's just as surprised as the monster is when it like <laughs> actually hits. Uh, and he kind of reflexively pulls it back, like, oh. <clears throat> hmm. Um, and the uh pillar, I can the spiritual weapon target something in the dark? It will have disadvantage. Okay. As long as it <laughs> as long as it can actually work. Um, uh well. No, it can't, okay. because this is uh, magical darkness. Right. Uh, then in that case, it's going to... Uh, I think Quedon just hears like a low whistling sound, and then Pillar comes out of the darkness to the last enemy that it knows the location of, uh, which would be Blue. Nice. Um, so... God's above, I thought Turtles was supposed to be slow. Oh, uh, that's an 18 to hit. Okay, what? which one are you hitting? Uh, blue. It it ran out of the dark. I'm, I'm using my bonus action to move it 20 feet up, and then... Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. And that'll so, hit. Awesome. Um, that'll be nine radiant damage. Okay. It will take that damage. Awesome. Yeah, just... Um, and then falls on the ground. Zir, you're up. Okay. Um, I think, let's see. I mean, for sure we're going to stab. Uh, why would we not? Um, you got to stab. <laughs> you got to stab. You just got to stab. You just got to. That's what, you rope, you stab. Um, but I think 
I think she's doing it more confidently than she has. Like she's trying to play things off because she she felt like Clovis made a dig at her. So now she's like trying to look very capable and competent. Like, yeah, I did charge in because I'm 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 the best. <laughs> <laughs> um, non lethal. <laughs> um, big stab with the rapier. Twenty to hit, not natural. Uh, that'll hit. Excellent. Or she blows. Okay. Uh, yeah, how do you take this one out? Cool. Oh, this is great. This is excellent. So, um, I think... Oh, I'm trying to think of how she would play it off. Uh, whenever I got the boon for the rapier, it was like a red film that's been applied to it in a way. Mm -hmm. What like exactly lacquer. does that? Okay, what exactly does that look like? Is there a way for me to? It just makes your rapier look red, like the blade oh. of your rapier is now red. Hmm. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll kind of slash with the rapier and I'll do a very big kind of showy slash where it looks like I've done like across the chest and even maybe neck, but I don't actually make connection till like around shoulder here enough to knock him out and, and um, you know, have that blood loss. But she'll actually <laughs> like in typical fake sword stabbing fashion, have the sword look like it goes through, but be in armpit <laughs> yeah. as as she like gets it to the ground. So so to Clovis's perspective, she's like skewered this man on like with a big flurry slash skewer this man down onto the ground. But in reality, she's perfectly placed her rapier up against its skin in the armpit to where she's not killing him. Okie dokie. And she looks to him confidently. I'm All sure right. I would have gotten there eventually. Bosrit, uh, there one. is a cloud of darkness between you and the door. It's not really anything I can deal with, so... I am to cast Sword. Uh, that'll hit. Okay. Uh, 11. All right. Uh, how do you kill this one? Um, Mr. At Mr. McAcid. I just... I, I don't, it, there's no anger, there's just pity, and I just, okay. clean cut, right through the neck. All righty. You're all queen. All right, thanks for the assist. I think I used oh, I used fifteen, so I still have. I'm gonna get to the very edge of the darkness to kind of wait to see what happens. <laughs> All right, Mazora. I take a nap. They got this. No. <laughs> Um, I'll let the ice spider uh, attack. Okay. Uh, the ice spider does not have disadvantage. So it's uh, 17 plus 5, so 22. That'll hit. And a little bitey bite. All right. Uh, and I need that uh, DC check for the poison. Okay. Uh Hold on, I have to do math. Sorry. No, no, math is hard. I've heard. I checked. <laughs> it sucks. Um, uh, 
That's a fail. All right, it's going to be nine piercing and seven poison. Okay. Anything else for you? Um, I have that nap. Um, <laughs> I'm going to step um, five feet away. Okay. So I guess it gets an attack of uh, opportunity. It does not. It cannot see you. It could smell you, but your smell does not give it an attack of opportunity. That was just so it could attack you. It would still be attacking you with disadvantage. And then since nobody can see what it looks like anyway, I'm just going to cast Eldritch Blast. Uh, All right. So uh, let me see. It's going to be a 13 plus 8. That'll hit. That'll hit, yeah. And an 11 plus 8. That'll hit. Mm -hmm. So it'll be... Um, I don't feel like doing damage, so I'm just going to click the button. All right. Um, uh, 13 and 15. Nobody can see this but you, but for the sake of it, how do we take this guy out? Oh, basically, I'll hit the send the first one directly into his chest and um, so that it bows over from the movement and force backwards. And the second one will permeate its head and just kind of eviscerate its spine as it rides down out its ass. Amazing. <laughs> um, so as this creature falls, because you are fully in the darkness, as this creature falls, you see as the body falls, hands reach up from the ground and grab it and pull it into the darkness. Hmm. That's festive. All right. And that will be the end of combat, which is a great place for a break. So... When last we left our party, they were fighting something horrific, but they managed to defeat it through the artful use of darkness, the help of the healers, and a couple gunshots. So, what would you guys like to do? Is anyone on the ground bleeding out, or is everyone already dead? Um, everyone is already dead. Have you dispelled your darkness? I have not. Does... Uh, Azura, could you turn on the light? I can't see. Yeah, do, but can you? Can you? Hello, can, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna say that, uh, Azura. <laughs> Sorry. And, um, yeah, and, and he doesn't yet. Um, I'm gonna use healing hands. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Um, Clovis, could you? Uh... Take this to the moat. I'll go check on Shotgun Granny. Lady, Lady <laughs> Amelia. Lady Amal Thane. Lady Thane. Amelia's yeah. first name. Mm -hmm. Great. Do I have to? Uh, I mean, I have no command over you. You certainly don't have to, but it feels inappropriate just from like a uh, I mean, there's. I don't uh, want. I don't yeah, want a, a bad right. body mixing with the bodies of fallen innocents. Uh, I guess. Yeah, sure. All right. Uh, Clovis goes to pick it up and looks for like anywhere not stained to grab it, and just doesn't find anything, and just kind of uh, okay. All right. Not very strong. Okay. Uh, dragging it along. Um, DM, should it be disappearing? The darkness? No, the bodies of these creatures. Usually. Okay. I think Clovis is going to drag it out into the darkness <laughs> and then as he's feeling around just kind of what? hmm uh and is just gonna not gonna ask any questions but is gonna continue uh your sort lady of thing thing. you're hurt <laughs> and she rushes <laughs> it makes a big show of it like <laughs> oh no this is important i'm all right dear i'm all right dear. I feel like your um your chain wielding friend is going to mock me for the windows. 
Uh, well. They've never been able to do that before. I've never seen any creature like that. It, we've been able to fight off the werewolves before, but this is new. Was I one of the people that at any point heard the voices? I know I didn't initially. Did I hear them at one point later? Okay, great. Um, uh, well, I don't I don't think they were working of their own accord. Well, Bosric was right. Getting people into the sewers was the right thing to do. Oh. The five who are dead here are the ones who and she just sets up cursing under her breath. The ones who stayed behind to protect the entrance. And little Dimitri, I suppose. <laughs> that one has more surprises than I expected. I, I'm gonna... Uh attempt to if Missouri's just not going to drop the darkness I mean what can I do to uh, I, I'll, I suppose I'll just uh, yeah. I no I because I'm I was letting you guys go through your talk I was going to do something but I was waiting for you guys to finish oh yeah well I want to do something in there but I, I don't yeah, know I how can't, I can't move because I'm stuck in the dark I'm like turn the light yeah. back on you idiot I you, don't you can move I, you can you, move your move you're not you guys aren't even in the darkness I'm outside I'm in the dark no I am in the darkness yeah, right. Right. Boz is yeah. in the dark. Yeah, the but two you, of them are you, still out. You can move through it now that yeah. combat is over. Yeah, yeah I'll well, step, yeah. I'll step away. Just... So what I'll do is I'll step away, well, which yeah, will roll in turn um, move my box with me because it's on my uh, thing. I can't move the box. But it's it's in a position now where you should be easily able to walk right, along the wall. As soon as okay. I can do that. Like, Role play you. wise, I was just going to hit the wall and then like with my hands still on the wall, just yeah. like crawl well, over to the door the excellent yeah. yeah there's no wall oh, no. oh i so totally don't forgot wonder. i that's totally forgot worried. yep never mind okay so now that he's moved i presume i bump into clovis with wolf in his hands <laughs> yeah what in the blue hell are you doing with that I'm, gonna, I'm literally going to try and take it from you i immediately let go <laughs> uh i don't n zir i Listen, man, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to cut its throat and throw it in the moat. Okay, it um, hisses and sinks into the moat. Um, and you do notice that all of the bodies out here are still here. Hmm. Except the ones you can't see because they're in the dark right now. But Interesting. Um, thank you, by the way, for... Um... Rushing in with me there. Well, when one plan fails, you just have to make do. And I just kind of pat you on the shoulder and go inside. I'll, I'll yeah. walk in as well. And um, upon seeing all the bodies, he just goes. I have a thing. Yeah. Uh, I am. Or before that happens, real quick, um, Mazura, as you move, um, yeah, you you said there was something you wanted to do. Oh yeah, no, I'm just uh, I need to dispel my friend, but I need to convince him to go. <laughs> um, so we'll uh, he pads over to you, and the spider form shifts in the darkness into uh, the goat, and it oh, starts. Never to mind lick, that. That answers my question. <laughs> lick the wounds that you have. Oh, I was going to ask you to go back and I can bring you as another form so that, that way you're not freezing everyone to death. But I guess this answers that question. I won't leave you. Not now. Uh, next time you stay with me. They can fend for themselves. And uh, with now that he's uh, she's in a more manageable uh, form and not going to freeze everyone to death, um, I will uh, dispel the darkness because I wasn't going to bring a big massive ice creature into a room with a bunch of people that just got <laughs> ripped apart by a mass of creatures. <laughs> All right, Quedon. Hmm. I'm just going to uh, like, I, I was going to try and shove past these two while they were in the doorway. Um, just like 
dismissing uh, dismissively um and i enter and i immediately uh see all the bodies i search for uh lady thane i say oh lady thane and i am so sorry for your loss this loss All these, these life in the village. We will consign their bodies to the moat, and they will protect us in death. Um, to the moat is that? Is that? Ahead. Is that the honorable method of disposer? I can, I can make sure. I mean. Say my prayers, make sure that their passage is as smooth as it can be, that no it's curses. Nice. No. It's kind that you think so, but there is no passage here. We consign their bodies to the acids so that they cannot be consigned to the spores. We learned that the hard way years ago. Aye. Let me... Let me at least... Say a few words for them. And I'm just I'm yeah, I'm just gonna yeah. say a silent. She kind of just dismissively waves her hand. Um Missouri, do you walk in? Yeah, I moved, I said, yeah, with that I'm just gonna go okay. in. Um as soon as you walk in from out of the barrel, just wrapped around your leg is Dimitri. Um, and he starts crying. Uh, I'll shake my leg a little and then <laughs> um are you okay? I was so scared. They came in through the window, and and Matra told Mati told me to go into the tunnels, but but I didn't want to leave you. I had to be brave for you. Oh, it's uh, the other way around. Uh, but uh, maybe there'll be some bars or something on the windows going forward. He just nods, and I say that loud enough. So yeah, Thane just kind of waves her hand at you so that she's heard you. Um, and you, um, you, you all hear the voice again. Oh, how sweet. We've always wanted a little brother, haven't we, sister? We have. This one will do. And a hand reaches out of mist, grabs Dimitri by the back of his neck, and pulls it in. Dimitri disappears into the red cloud. Is the red cloud still there? Nope. It just uh so at that I it's uh it's that free action. Mm -hmm. Uh my eyes go red with like white flames look like they're jumping out of it. My entire facial structure seems to disappear into a shadow with smoke bubbling off of me now. I, I look probably about a foot taller. Um probably have a uh would be have look like a very muscular frame with the smoke that's riding down me almost like a cloak. And I'm like, yeah. as it kind of flails to the side, almost looking like uh, wings opening. And I'm going outside. Okay. Quedan, you see that form for a second. And then you see the form of a massive werewolf. Skin looking off, falling off of its bones and a bracelet on its arm that you've seen before. You gave it to someone a long time ago. Clovis, you, you see Stendar. His eyes are hollow. His shell is shattered. And black ichor leaks out of the wounds. Bosric, you don't see a large creature. You see a small half-orc girl with her eyes gouged out with daggers. And Zir, you see your mother riddled with holes as Mazura leaves the room. Outside, I'm looking for any trace of um, the clouds uh, anything I can track. They have left you a very clear trail of red 
leading north to the castle. May would it be uh, Queen to you? Would it be safe to assume that you're in a near catatonic state? I am going. I'm gonna yell, um, and just, um, just say you visions. I out of my head, out of my head. The minute and... you start with that, I'm gonna grab you by by the shoulders, turn you to face me, say, breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe. Look at me. Breathe. Hold. Steady. Thank you, Bosric. Steady on. Steady on. I am going to, and I'm going to charge. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, like, yeah, do one or two more breaths, and I'm going to, um, like, you know, thank you, and just put my head down and just charge to Lady Thane. Let me assist with. Let me assist with the disposal of the bodies. Something. Give. Give. Give me a task to do here. I. I. I um. Lady what needs Thane, doing? Lady Thane is also wide-eyed, and even as you run up to her, her eyes have not left the door. It seems like whatever visions have racked you have also racked her. And she just kind of shakes her head. Um. Uh, Go to the tunnels. Get the people out. They'll help you with the bodies. You have to get Dimitri back. How long is it? I presume they're headed for the castle? Yes. I recognize that voice anywhere. That was the eldest bitch of Madame Seltradat, Ivanka. So I'll come back in um, and just, we rest, we go for the castle. Yeah, yeah. Are you still in your spooky form? I have not changed forms. <laughs> in in Get away from me. Lovis. What's He's wrong with you? you? You're a Did you not see the child oh, being stolen? What are you? Uh, Bosser, uh, I actually need you to roll a wisdom save. I want your character to be as badass as you are, but this is um, messing with yeah. you internally. Is it? Because I just rolled a nat 20. Hey, okay. Fucking yeah, Bosser. And I will look at both of you and say, You two had this conversation last night. Dimitri is in trouble. We need sure. rest. We need to go. I agree, but you are looking a little, shall we say, scary. Not, we need that, but not yet. So, I'll give you the same advice I gave Keaton just a minute ago. Deep breaths. We are no good to Dimitri if we are not cool-headed with a plan. And as I breathe, I'll just kind of come down and look at myself. Uh, okay. And it, it will fade. Uh, that's that's new. You hear something in the back of your head, Mazura. None of the rest of you hear it, but Mazura, you hear Good, my son. So close now. That's not good. Uh <laughs> <laughs> nope. when do I come back that's with the game. people? And so, um, um, probably about the time that Missouri drops the form. But yeah, Missouri, so continue cool. what you were saying. Yeah, I'll say that just the, <laughs> the form will just slowly start to fade, and um, you'd probably stop seeing the horrifying visages you're seeing, and you would initially start to see that as I originally described it, and then watch it kind of come back down and then fade to uh, Missouri as you know him. I'm sorry. I... That's going to take some uh, <clears throat> getting used to. I didn't mean to. <sighs> me, uh, sorry. Me too. I'm going to actually draw them both kind of closer, closer in. All right, look. 
Clearly there is something to your power, but I am I can see that it it's as mysterious to you as it is to us. Right now I'm functioning on better the devil you know. You haven't given me any reason to distrust you. As long as you aren't harming us, you're our friend. Clovis, I know your knee-jerk reaction to anything that is outside of your divine purview is, well, at least it appears now to be smite. But for now, we have a target, we have an enemy that needs to die, and we have a boy that needs to be saved. Everything else, unless it becomes a priority, needs to be secondary. Zir, you hear a voice. Big sis, what was that? The sisters, I think. What? That's all she'd say. Um, I, I was going to say, when everything happened and fear <laughs> struck the nation, <laughs> um, Zir uh, quietly followed. Whenever Queden kind of sought out a task to cope, Zir kind of quietly followed behind him. So I, I, it seems like Queden's yeah. come back now, so Zir would be back now as well. But she's, I'm just... she's next to Queden. Whatever okay. group of people, whatever group of people has been like tasked to deal with this, like usually, I just I want to be given a task. Like like weirdly enough, dead like dead bodies are a comfort for me. Yeah. It's like I know what I like. I'm mm -hmm. like I know what mm -hmm. to do here. Like point me in the right direction, and I will make sure it gets done. Like and I just I need to distract. So like they're talking, I'm listening to what they're saying, but I I'm letting this group of of people direct me, or or I'll direct them. Uh, I just, yeah. I, I want to be put to work. Yeah. Yeah. Zero's, and Zero's fallen in step. So if that's what you're doing, mm -hmm. then she's also listening mm -hmm. and carrying out instructions. And so, um, she'll say it quietly, yeah. but not secretly necessarily. She'll reply and just say, I think the sisters. Okay. Um, As you're picking up bodies, it's weird. You see that shimmer in the air again. And it seems like you're not big. You're not strong. You're very fast, but you're not... But it seems like, as you're helping move the bodies, something else is helping you. Not something you can see, but something. Um, you are able to get the bodies kind of taken care of. Lady Thane ties off her wounds. Um, Queden, you say a prayer to Zarakis. Um, mm -hmm. I assume, a, a passage prayer, and the bodies are pushed into the moat. And she uh, looks at you, Mazura, and says, Bars. Bars. I suppose we could use some of the guns, but we don't have a lot of metal here. What about in the buildings outside? Nails. Anything can be melted down. We'll get to work on that. We'll see what we can... We could send scouts to the Manufactorum. Perhaps Dr. Folger is still with us. There was a time when he stood beside us against the horrors of this place. Maybe he will help us again. It's good to know. With luck, you'll soon be down one. Going to take more than luck to take out Madame Seltradat. We tried to kill her sisters before, but the bullets, they just go through them like they're made of air. Mm. We don't know how to kill them. Take your rest. Find a way. Make your way in the morning. If you'd rather you can rest on the road, we can give you protection. You'll be there. We don't, uh, we don't have much time to lose. It might be better to travel. She and reaches rest. into her pocket, and um, everyone's kind. Of
All of you can roll history checks. Hooray. I read so many books. I rolled a two. I rolled two of those. I don't even know there's history in the world. Um, You don't know the uh, what significance this would have to Stendar, but perhaps it was just used as the activation word because of what it is. This is a portable fortress. Uh, when you plant it on the ground, it becomes a 20 by 20 tower that keeps Ooh, you yeah. safe. Ooh. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, I'll uh, pocket it. Which is basically the DM saying, you're going to need to rest a lot. How about a house? Yeah, <laughs> I do. Hey, love a good house. Houses are nice. Yeah. All right. So uh, I'm assuming you make your way. Mm -hmm. I'm going to uh, walk next to Basra. Like, why did you all act like that? Well, I saw something. I can only assume other people saw things. You're uh, somewhere akin to an ASMR, right? Yeah. I've heard we've got a few ASMR in the familiar individual. I've heard stories of when they go bad. They make people close afraid? Some, Maybe something like that? I didn't do that. I control that. I can do that right now if you want it. Maybe your rage just made it slip? Who knows? All I know is I saw something that I didn't want to see, and I'm pretty sure that's what happened with the rest. You all see the same thing? I don't know. I don't know what they saw. I only know what I saw. No. I sure hope not. I doubt you all would have reacted the way that I did if you'd seen what I'd seen. Pretty personal. I. I as well. I'm gonna be over here. Oh. <laughs> uh... Can I test something with one of you that has a deal of fortitude and uh, the perseverance to stand up to your fears? Sure. I'm going to turn around. The, good call. Uh, <laughs> um, so Zir said sure. Uh, yeah. I think Clovis is going to take his shield off of his back and just kind of the way that he you see him hold his book sometimes when he seems nervous, he's just going to hold his shield and say. OK, who amongst the three of you, I assume Bozrek looks like he's the most like I've got this. Uh, no, actually, he takes a few steps back. Oh, is he still looking or is he turning around? So. Again, I will just, but instead of it just being the outburst, all of a sudden you'll just watch him grow. That face fades away. The fire returns. The smoke goes. And Bosrek, um, I do not see you as a friend in this moment. <clears throat> but I am showing trust towards Clovis and Zir. Okay. Um, so, Bosrek, you would see the thing you're afraid of. Um, so what you see, Bosric, is you see that little orc girl with her eyes gouged out again, and she says, The ancestors didn't accept me, brother. They said sickness was weakness. Weakness isn't good enough. I'm in the hells now. And then I'll just, as I see you reacting... Um, immediately it'll start to fade away and just be my uh, the form as I explained it at the beginning. What do we see? You would see you exactly see as you saw before. You would see okay. the face disappear into shadow, the, the, the fiery eyes, and the larger, more muscular physique with the um, smoke flowing down almost like a, uh, a large cloak. So still frightening, but not our like. Still, yeah, worst scary. Fear. Not your not, fear. Not yeah, your okay. fear. And I let it fade, and I'll just, and I'll just put my hand up, and and all you hear is that the voice will sound more like, Bosarek, are you better now? Are you still in your form? I'm in. No, he does not. He, he okay. sees the form. 
he does not see the he, his okay. fear. Okay. Well, that's handy. Hopefully, you can use it on the sisters. And, and I, know I will. Walking. I will let it fade and go. It's not this. And two bows are. It's not the same thing. But I think I have a better idea of how I, how to use it. Good. Wasn't nearly and, so bad as last time. Um, no, I oh, had to went around. I had, yeah. I had, I had Zero. to see. Yeah, I had to see somebody that I would. I had to be afraid, and that's all. Explain. I had to be afraid of someone, so I chose one of you to be afraid of. Yeah, Zir looks angry, and she goes back to helping <laughs> Queen with the bodies, but she won't say anything. Oh wait, have we left, or are we still in the? That the bodies are taken care of, Zero. Oh, yes, yes, left. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, well, she will she will go back to where Queen was and let him know that it's over. Yeah. Okay. Let's I'll just pet the goat. What's just... fear? That is quite a talent, Mazura. I hope you use it against your enemies as well as you use it against us. Well, rage is shotgun. Fickle. Granny just kind of took some hits from that one for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I, I will say, they're just rage is a fickle beast. It uh, doesn't see friend or foe. I've hurt. She racks a bolt. All right, get out of here. You're losing okay. daylight, and you don't want to be outside when the lichens come back. You'll be all right with the um, <laughs> look at the like beat up door. Do you forget who I am? And she holds out her hand and casts mending. The door. Oh, I wish I were good at magic. All right, guys, let's go. You're plenty good, <laughs> just not at that. way to look at it. Not a bad point. Oh. All right. That was uh that was a beating. But I'm glad to see us all still standing. And as we're all walking out, I wanna like I just I, I don't want to turn it into a conversation. I just want to like Walk up to Bosric and 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 say, "You're a stronger man than you give yourself credit for." Thank you. I never really had a problem giving myself credit for strength. It's oh, well, strength can mean many things: emotional, physical. You have both in droves. The moments. <laughs> right. So, um, just for the sake of brevity and to get you to the next section, um, your night passes without incident. You can hear the scratching on the outside of the fortress of things trying to get in, but you are protected. And then... You all make your way up the path to a large castle that appears to be made out of ice. Mm. Oh boy. New music, new music, new, new music. music. just dropped. <laughs> and it's five minutes long! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so you see this icy citadel with massive doors. It extends in really every direction, and it is built high onto a cliff. You can hear the ocean crashing behind it, or what you assume to be the ocean if there is an ocean in this awful place. There should be a section where you can see map. Yay! 
this. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming entrance is big door? Yes. Great. Are we in front of that? You are in front of that. Nice. Okay. Uh, over the course of the night, um, I was just looking at things. Uh, would it be possible to reform before my uh, rest? Um, my uh, familiar into something? Absolutely. Yeah. Your familiar would also be dismissed on when you uh, rest. Okay. Whatever you like meditate, that's what your familiar would kind of dissipate and come back. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, technically, I don't even meditate. The, uh, the, the, uh, the things oh, that yeah, I basically... Just, right, I just, you stay, just don't do I anything. just don't do yeah. much. I just stay awake, and as long as I'm not doing anything strenuous, then I just continue along. Okay. Uh, I'm actually pretty pissed off about what happened. Um, so I actually am summoning something uh, nightmarish. I'm going to summon an adult uh, Ruthick. Nice. Um, for anybody in the party that doesn't know what it looks like, I'll put it into um, the uh, chat here. In, uh... They nasty. They, they nasty. And I'll put it in <laughs> chat for uh, the stream as well. And remember, it's a more nightmarish version, so there's more barbs and big uh, swinging uh, kind of uh, stabby bits on it. Um, it probably has two very long tongues and probably a horn out of the top of its head. I've the been to the Eye of Terror. <laughs> What's that? I've been to the Eye of Terror. <laughs> okay. The Instead um, of the uh, bulbous, like the popping eyes, like where they're just like, they just normal bug eyes, they're actually sunk in almost like they're not there. And I'll add on to that, that that bottom jaw splits like a predator. Oh, I love predator. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you are at the doors of Castle Seltradot. Would you like to make your way inside? Uh, having gone through this long <laughs> trek through the uh, through the wilds to get here, Clovis is pretty eager to get indoors. Um, he would have been pretty quiet on the walk here, basically from leaving the um uh from leaving the tavern with a, a brief return to normalcy in the fortress and then back to uh quietness on the walk um and as soon as the door is like within sight he he would march up to it and try and push his way in the minute bef but before you do before you actually step to it Bowser's actually putting in hold hold <sighs> might be a good idea for to look for a side way in Okay, can I just, um, Clovis is just going to go put his hand on the wall next to the door, and you see him just kind of. <clears throat> so, when you put your hand on the wall, you hear, as the massive stone doors open. Well, now they know uh, here. <laughs> Bosric, you see him fight an urge to walk in. Uh, just immediately, and he kind of looks at you. Uh, sorry. Hey, Portion. Mm hmm Oh, sorry. Sorry, Bosser. Go ahead and say what you're going to say. I was actually going to turn to you, I was going to say. I mean, they do know we're here now, but you think you could scout around and see if there's another way in? Absolutely. Um, question out of character. Uh, when we knew that there were tracks that made us know that Dimitri was taken to the castle, yes? Are those tracks mm -hmm. tracks that we've been following? Are they still present? Is there any sign uh, yeah, of it's that? Not, it's not tracks. It is just a line of red, as if somebody was dragging a bleeding body all this way. Okay, and that's still present? Mm hmm And where does it enter? Uh, the front door. Okay. Cool. Hey, and Mary. Yeah, I will... I would be happy to scout in. Did anyone else have anything to say? No, no, I'm not, she, not, she would not hesitate inside, she heard from around, everything. around the perimeter. Do we want a distraction? I'm going to turn to Mary. Do you mind creating us a nice little path in the side? 
And um, basically, uh, DM, if you're wondering, I'm asking uh, Mary to burrow and create us a path inside. I will try. This stone oh. is hard. You notice, all of you notice this, because now you know you can hear Mary talk. Her voice is getting a lot clearer. Huh. Um, um, and the Kruthik starts to dig down into the ground. Here's what I'll say. Happy to scout. Uh, I'm more of an in than perimeter person. I understand the intention of perimeter, but uh, that's usually what um, other people in my group did. Uh, but let me posit this. We're entering a hostage situation. So I don't know if from what we've been told, this doesn't necessarily seem like a... I mean, we have to kill this person, right? But charging in or entering in, I don't know. I feel like maybe we should just knock and see if we're accepted in. I mean, the door is open. Maybe exactly. sort of get the child first and then fight our way out. Is what you're suggesting? Yeah, because I feel like if we just go in prepped to kill, then they've got a pretty good blackmail on us, so maybe we don't know what these people want. We know that we want to kill them, but we don't know what they want to do to us, so maybe we should find out. We know they want a brother. That's why they took him. Yep. By taking him, they invited us in. And then they literally invited us in. Problem yeah. is... Agreed on all fronts. I'm just saying maybe we shouldn't approach this as a we're entering into a combat and more a we're entering into a negotiation. I do see Bosric's point, though, because we could just walk through those doors and then the floor disappears and there's a big spike pit. And it would be nice to know that before we're falling into the spike pit. Or we About this the time, the, the crew thick returns. Laura made of hard stone could not dig through well, but could not hear or smell anyone inside that answers the question if it's hard stone underneath then there's no trap door into spikes at least initially in theory that does they don't need spikes they just it need was to sort make of a metaphor it, yeah it could be like you know that could be ceiling spikes or you know so the door vanishes spikes. and we can't get out. Or well, magic for that matter. Or magic. Oh, I'm happy to check for traps and scouts and all that good stuff. I'm just saying what follows after that shouldn't necessarily be a we're all clear guns blazing situation. No, for sure. For sure. You, yeah, I, oh, yes. cool. you all hear a commanding voice from inside say, oh, will you come inside already? You're letting the cold in. See, that's what I was hoping for. And Zir's going to walk in. <laughs> I you know, pull my shield out. This oh, okay. I said um, we've long rested. By the way, that was a long me. rest, or was yeah. it a short? Nice rest? knowing you. Uh, it was a long rest. Right. Thank you. Awesome. Um. So you do you all enter, or just yes. here? Oh, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm, in, I'm, maybe? I'm going in. Mary and I would follow <laughs> behind. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're not happy about it. Okay. That's just a lot of bigger... You don't things. gotta! <laughs> so, um, you see just a very large stone entry... Like, you see that little, like, entryway where, you know, people have hung their coats, and you see a place to deposit your weapons. No one is here to check you on that. Um, but, you know, it's a castle. You can't go into a castle armed. Um, but the door is opened by the same mysterious force, and you see a large stone room um there is a door to either side in the center of the room and then straight back from the door you see another 
kind of shoddy wooden door and then made out of marble two staircases at the back going up on each side and then in the center of the room a large marble section of the floor and built out of that is a large marble statue of a woman in a long dress holding a dagger in one hand and a goblet in the other. And standing by that dagger, you see the same woman. Not carved out of marble, but with skin of white porcelain and piercing red eyes, long black hair, and a flowing and sort of revealing white dress from a time long in your past. And she says, Hello, darlings. That's a fantastic sculpture. Thank you. I was rather fond of it when I had it commissioned. It's a shame the artist is dead now. He did such wonderful work. But, well, when one lives as long as I have, one must get used to loss. Allow me to introduce myself. And uh, she bows very, very deeply. I am Irenia Seltridat. Have you a preferred uh, honorific, Lady, Baroness, Countess, that you would prefer to be, re be regarded as? Lady Seltridat is perfectly fine. Lady Seltridat it is, then. Now, you've traveled such a long way to my doorstep. I'm assuming that that mean old matron has told you some terrible things about me. In actuality, we are here because um, a child was taken from the village. We seek his safe return. Child from the village? Taken Take here? The trail led to here. Uh, is is there a blood trail still inside where we're standing? Oh, but it did lead to the door. Mm -hmm. Okay, Zir's just going to point <laughs> backwards behind her at where the blood trail stopped. <laughs> she kind of leans her head over. Oh, I'm sure that's just my girls having a bit of fun. Nothing Understood. to worry about, but if you're concerned for the boy's safety, by all means, you have the run of my castle. You may rest here if you'd like. No harm will come to you, so long as no harm comes to anything of mine. Should you find the boy and he wishes to leave with you, well, then you are welcome to take him. But don't be disappointed if he wants to stay. It is uh, such a lovely castle. Why? My lady, as he is not a legal adult, he's not able to give consent for himself. A legal adult? What law do you think binds me in my own home? I control the very stones you walk on, boy. I make the rules in my own house, and if the boy wants to stay, then he will be allowed to stay, as are all of you. But he does still have free will. Yes, to the best of my knowledge, he does. In theory. <laughs> I've certainly done nothing to take his free will away from him. Well, thank you for your kindness. We will... Do, do you know where he might be? Oh, I'm sure the girls are playing hide-and-seek with him right now. Hmm. Though I couldn't tell you exactly where. My daughters are such... Hmm. Capricious creatures. They're bad perhaps, at hide-and-seek, I see. Is there perhaps a wing of the castle that they sort of inhabit? Maybe uh, some some chambers or rooms you could point us in the general sort of direction of? He points uh, to the stairs. Their rooms and mine are on the second level, as is a wonderful balcony overlooking the village below. Is now, anywhere... if you'll excuse me... Ask your question, darling. It's fine. Is there anywhere off limits? 
the West Wing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 uh, well, nowhere that you could get to. Mm, okay. I hope you yeah. recognize that I'm taking that as a challenge. And <laughs> you're just smiles. <laughs> I'm just going to head in the, that direction. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm just gonna, now, as you see, Clovis, as per the rules of hide and seek, they would be hiding. Uh, so it might be a little bit more tricky than going to their rooms, but I'm I, I'm sure. I just wanted a sort of general direction that, you know. Sure, yeah. sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of rules, uh, my lady, are there any other rules that we should know about that are sort of going to be in effect? Sorry, I don't mean to be litigious about this, but this is kind of my whole thing. So. Um, no, and I appreciate you asking. You, as I've said, this is my home, and I've set my own rules. You don't know them, and you're wanting to make sure you do. Indeed. My daughters must be left alone. You're here for the boy and nothing else. Take nothing from my home, mm -hmm. and do no harm or damage to anything within it. Other Should than something... that, I have no rules. Should something do harm to us? Or attempt to. My rules stay the same. You are more than welcome to leave if this is not to your liking. I assure you the boy will be well cared for. What might we expect in terms of penalties? Should we... Um, uh, never on purpose, of course. Not, should not we that we would ever... Yeah, not that we would ever... Our way sure. into... Accidentally breaking a rule. Say a candlestick trips out of the By doorway accident. with me on my way out. <laughs> While they're having say, this conversation, say, say that I yeah, say that I accidentally like elbow a because I just we both spiral. Yeah, while, hey, they're, um, while they're spiraling like this, Zir has already stepped away and she's like in escape room mode. Like she's like tapping on bricks because she's taken this like not okay. anywhere you can access as a challenge. She, <laughs> she's um, like, she's lifting up. <laughs> she's she's poking at stuff. <laughs> she laughs behind anything her hand. Was one of the rules. She just. <laughs> you don't want to find out. I'll be here. And as she smiles, you can now see for the first time the long vampiric fangs in her mouth. <laughs> uh, Clovis is going to shoot yes. a look to Queden. Like, She's hot! Do we do... We do both want to know, right? But we're not We're not gonna, but like, we do... Okay. Queden does not want to know! <laughs> uh, DM question for you in uh, chat. Yeah, I saw it. I answered it. No, did you? Mm -hmm. I said it to the you... wrong person. The answer is, <laughs> let me think. <laughs> okay, because that matters in a it... moment. Okay. Um. Mm. For now, it uses up a use. Okay, very good. But you can um, do it without having to resummon. Okay, thank you. That's, that's mm -hmm. all I needed. I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay. To the um, bedrooms, I suppose? Well, I'm, something I'm, was going to happen with Zir, then Zir disappeared. I'm, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna lean in to the uh, to Mary, the uh, Kruthik, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna go, which is cleaning its um, yeah, Schickler right say, now. And I'm going to, I'm gonna put my head to it, kind of send it the picture of what I'm looking for, and go. I think it's time we find sentient beings, and as I like, kind of run my hand down its side. It's the the smoke starts to shift and shift and and move, and then in my hand I'm holding an intellect of our. Okay. Cool. And so. Um, uh, and yeah. she's back to deal with the consequences of her actions. <laughs> and uh, and so uh, I'll say, and it remember these things can speak, so it will speak common, and be like. I believe we have a child to find, don't we, friend? I believe we do. We should find them. And obviously, I'm going to be having Mary, the intellect devourer, um, detecting sentience, um, no, sensing the presence and location of any creature within 300 feet of it that has an intelligence of three or higher, 
regardless of imposing barriers, and uh, though there's one obvious spell that works, but uh, not sure if that matters. Is it mind blank? Yes. Okay. Within 300 just... feet of where you're standing now. Yes. Just going to so elbow is... Clovis and be like, so just between you, you and me, that voice used to be a whole lot lower, right? <laughs> so that really stopped interrogating it. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I can't do math. I'm sorry. 20. It's 60. Okay, so it's 60 squares. Yes. Okay. Uh, this is important. Um, okay. So it is how far from you to the door? 125. Okay. All right. Uh, you sense within 300 feet of you the party, Madame Seltradot, and four other creatures. Uh, I'm sure Mary would just uh, relay that either um, psychically to you. Psychically, um, I'll turn to the group. Outside of everyone present here, there's four other individuals. Would you like to go uh, see which one we're looking for? I say, I shrug and say, hide and seek. Um, Zier, as you're tapping on things, um, you get to about right here. Hold on, sorry. I was clicking with the wrong thing. Right here, where this door is. And as you tap it, the door falls open, and I need you to roll a deck safe. Which door? Hold on. This door. Okay, great. Big. Deck safe. Uh-huh. It's not a high roll. <laughs> a nine. <laughs> a nine? Yeah, I rolled a two. <laughs> Not the shot. Okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I love when I fail rolls that weren't expected. <laughs> oh, this is great. Play it on me, play. <laughs> yes! Okay. You knock on the door, it opens, you push, oh. and fall oh, yep. out of the door yep. to the rocks below. Yep. 300 feet. Yep. Correct. Excellent. You take 30 d6 bludgeoning damage. Yep. Oh, jeez. You take 91 bludgeoning damage and immediately die. Yep. Excellent. Anybody quite curious <laughs> who's going to continue to check for traps? <laughs> Madam Seltradot looks at the door. You were warned. Yes, she I'm was. Sorry, warned about what? I did tell you not to touch anything. What? Where? I'm gonna run over to the, the door yeah. and look out. You see nothing. The what body did of she Zier touch? Has disappeared. She touched the door, and the door was unlocked, and she fell through it. Zier. So, oh, good. I can sense the Wait. death, though. Can I? You could hear the crack of her body. Sure, but like from a, a like cleric of the god of death perspective, can I sense death? Yes. You sense death, and as you feel the spirit leave, you lose sight of it. Zir. Yes. Breath returns to your body, and you look down. You have none of your equipment. You have none of your clothing. You look at your body. It's intact. 
there's a strange black smudge on the back of your arm. You are alive. Below the tunnels. Please mark on your character sheet one point of corruption. <laughs> <laughs> but I sensed death. Yes. Zir died. Cool. cool. And as far as the four of you know, Zir is dead. Let's bring up something. Zir. So actually, it's Zir. She's. She's dead. I felt it. it. It, it couldn't be anything else. Oh, gosh. oh yeah. I just looked at the st the chat. Our cameras are off. Apparently, Dwarf is the DM. I am Mazura. Wait, guys, Excellent. gain five levels. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, does uh, Mary feel um detect Zir within three hundred feet in any direction? No, okay. That's uh, that's why I was like, so, so we can we have full reign uh, to move about your castle, but we can't even touch the doors. You can touch the doors. Just be more careful. <laughs> no. No. I'm sorry. This child is not worth. No. No. And I, um, I, moved, I moved to leave. is fine. I'm sorry. You're a god of Coming death, down. right? You worship a god of death? Yes. Has he spoken to you since you've been here? Have I... you felt his presence? I thought I did, for a time. I'm unsure. It he feels no sway clouded. Here. Death holds no sway here. So what? The dead just... The dead come the back. The spores. The spores, of course, but... Whedon. I believe her ladyship gave us her leave. Let us, let us reconvene to elsewhere for further conversations, and trouble her no further, shall we? Are you it, suggesting we leave and come back? I'm suggesting we reconvene amongst ourselves to plot our next move in searching or not searching. Rather than stand here and make what could become accusations against the lady of the house. I would never, but I would never. Milady, uh, we will uh, convene and um, what our next move, I believe. Um, it's been uh, rather troubling, well past five minutes. We need a moment. My apologies. We're... We headed out. Think so. Um. Well, let's have a look at this place. I don't think going further in to have this conversation is a good idea. Maybe we just step back out into like the antechamber. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm. The the foyer room. Yeah. So while you guys are searching, um. Zir, the cloaked woman from your past approaches you again. Yes. And she's holding a suit of leather armor and a sword that you recognize. And she says, I'm afraid that won't do. I'm not ready for you to be dead yet. And she throws them at your feet. Go mm. back to your friends. And then she I, disappears. I don't have any of my stuff. You now have leather armor and your sword. Excellent. Yeah. And you are still wearing your magic item. Right. Okay. 
good to know. Should I delete it inventory wise? No. Would that be prudent? No. Okay. No. Just act as if currently I don't have any of them. Because of the way that it works. I meant, well, okay, sorry. Yeah. Not talking about the ring, talking about any other given thing in my inventory. Oh, should no. I she keep it? Should I she keep gave it there you for your the stuff sake? back. Oh, all of it I got back. Yes. Ah. Oh, that's so kind. But you have a point of corruption. Excellent. Do we know what that means? Nope. nope. I'm so excited. Oh, how mm -hmm. thrilling. Um this is this is the best. For for <laughs> the sake this. of your uh for the sake of your ring working, it's what yes. you said, the second one. Oh, hate that. Great. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So many words are being said that I don't know the definition uh -huh. of. Uh-huh. It's just easier to do that than try and type it while also talking to you guys. So, do you want yeah. to search the house? In in care no. I think we we <laughs> pulled into the foyer where like the weapon deposit mm -hmm. box is, and to figure out what the fuck we want to do okay. without trying it's to beat possible. the shit out of this lady. It's impossible. Which I don't this think is... we can at the moment. Yeah, I don't think we can either. This is impossible. It's difficult. It is without question difficult. You guys all see a brief flash of white light. And sorry to do this to you, Zier. How fast can you put on your clothes? <laughs> nope. Liliana, one more, one more orange, please. You see a Zier holding her stuff, but not wearing any clothes. Listen, Queen, uh, we have to. Oh well, my God! Wait, well, <laughs> in, I would say, I it's most of all at her oh, watch. It's most of all time. <laughs> oh. Let's say she has her cloak on. I think okay. that would be. I think that oh. would be a priority. So she's not just in the nude. She's oh. not fully dressed, but she comedy, has her cloak. Comedy action heroine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know how, but I was looking right at the spot where you just like Nat. Oh. What? No, oh, no Dorf, you're is, muted. No, I can't you hear you. Died, guys. It's a naked female form. You're gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Azura. she died. She was How dead. Are you? Yeah, they're more worried about the fact that she's still here. Did you not I mean, hear what the lady the, said? The other thing bothered me too, but yeah, yes, but they are cleric-minded. I have spent my life studying the passage between life and death. Even if it is possible, it should not be that quick. And it is not possible. Where this are we, is... Queen? We're in the Domains of Dread. Who the hells even knows what's possible here or not? Seer, what the hell happened? Why are you... How? What... Why'd you get uh... naked? That... I died. I mean, what do you expect from me? <laughs> I assume she died. She got better. And then I didn't wasn't aware that that was a uh, a naked event. Maybe when you it's die, you leave everything easy. behind. Literally, it can't uh, be that easy. Clovis goes into full I don't think it mode. Is. What I expect from you from this point forward is constant supervision. I, mean, I don't I, think it I, was I, that easy. I do but... hope you realize you've sneaked your last sneak. You're She's going to do what she wants dad? to do. <laughs> I'm your doctor, kind of. And I think that gives me some sort of... You need... Don't fall out of doors. When you've proven to me that you're past that step, I'll cool it. Noted. Also, don't run off on your own. Make sure you've got backup to... I don't know, catch you before you fall. Didn't you so operate with a team? But were you team now? Healing takes trust. And well, I, I, <laughs> I don't even know if my healing is worth anything at this point. If we can just pop back into existence like some now, unnatural. Yeah, don't say that, because we do still we do still need you to do that. What, sh uh, do we? Wait, what wait, is wait. going on? Wait, something is going on. You're right. But right now, we don't have the time to pick it apart. We've got Zia back. This is good. 
we don't know how we did. This is questionable. Dimitri is in there. We need to at least ascertain that he's, as the lady says, unharmed. With all due respect, I met Dimitri, what, yesterday? I know myself... I, I do not wish to part with my life that easily without and a I don't wish to part word. with somebody who has so much of one left. I'm going in. Is anyone coming with me? We work together. Hopefully no one has to lose any life. I, I, and I look at... I give Zero a very pointed look. Agreed? Especially no, since if we come back. Ab absolutely. The fuck not. I I just fell to my death. I popped up out of nowhere. And I immediately get lectured by a bunch of strangers who think they know what's best for me. That I've worked in a team. That I need to be parented. Did I lecture you? No, you didn't. We, oh, ne but we need to as a group take understand I'll... that there's a we... That is a group we that doesn't always apply to everybody. I don't know why we get caught up in semantics like this and detract from the point of what people are saying. It's ridiculous. I don't believe that Clovis had the intention of being overbearing. Forgive us for being overly cautious. We understand that you may be excited that you're still here. We are excited that that you're still here, that we have not lost anyone yet, but it was alarming. Yeah, mostly to me. And so it sucks that the fact that somehow I'm still here resulted at me getting bombarded. Everyone else has had to ha got to have their moment of, of fear, of panic, of respect, of comfort. And But when I experience something arguably more traumatic than anyone so far at this point, I get yelled at, but, but Zira, as if as just... if that's with the intention of of being a team, right? We need to trust each other and support each other. So now that you've fallen to your death, which was really painful and awful, thanks for asking. I get to come back, unclothed, confused, and get lectured by strangers. But Zir, they oh, just fair. love you. That is fair. You hear a voice that you have that's not fair. heard before in your team. And there is a sixth person standing with you. A large minotaur. Oh. Do we wearing... all see this? Yes. Oh. Zir, they just care about you. You don't have us anymore. Oh shit, I... they can see me. You're not part of this right now. I'm always part of this. You made me part of this. I know. Zir, I don't know what... You, but you, you, um, um, you have a uh, thing. Friend a thing. is, but it's part. It's part of with what? I'm sorry. It's a part of you. Okay. Wait, no, no, no. Hold on. You first, and she points at Clovis. I'm not taking your side. I'm just protecting her. So you uh, shut no. the fuck up. Listen, I'm. I'm. Shut I'll up. Admit now, there's been a lot of yelling, and I'm very tired. I am also dead. She is dead. I miss my sister. I know you care about her. I know you care about Dimitri. I know you don't want to die. None of you are going to die if you will just stick together. Zir, I understand what you're doing. I get it. I do. I get why this is frustrating. But you don't have us anymore. And the ghost starts to cry. You don't. I know, which is what I'm trying to fix. Then let them help you. Please? They're not. You. We are just trying to protect. I don't need to be protected. I was the one who was supposed to be doing the protecting. Just, you, just you feel two more pairs minute. of hands on your backs here. And they walk with you. Guys, let's let her put her clothes back on and, you know, sort of collect herself. I think we've done enough damage. Uh, the Minotaur turns around. I'm sorry. That was rude of me. I'm Leif. Uh, nice to... I'm, I'm not sure if... The, the like, hand Clovis, passes through. Yeah, Clovis goes in fully not sure if that's going to happen. Yeah. Just, I, it's all right. I was well, mean I can to your sister. Her. I thought I could... It's Go, fine. I'm sure being a ghost is hard. So it's 
water under the bridge. With that, she goes, wait! And she walks through you, and it feels weird. And walks up to you, Mazora. You're the chain guy, right? Yeah, you're the... uh, You kept us safe. And I'm going to look over towards uh, Zir. Yes, I did. Thank you. Thank all of you. And she, uh, Leif, looks back at the three of you. I I know you're trying, but... Zir's a leader. And it's what she's used to. And she's really, really good at it. So... You know... Just give her a minute. Sorry, and then the ghost disappears. I feel like I need to throw up, but there's no throw up to throw up. I don't feel I start quite searching as weird for a anymore. bag. There was a ghost in me. Let's just hope that's the weirdest thing in you yeah. until we get out of here. I don't know how to take that, so I'm not going to process it. And no, I, I think, go ahead, Missouri. I was like, I, I don't think you should try to take it anyway. Just take it as, be careful, watch out for each other as you have been, and you'll probably be fine. And I think with that, we are going to call this week's session good. We will be oh, back no, on me next Wednesday with the exploration of Castle Seltradot the potential rescue of Dimitri, and the question, if there are two sisters and one boy, who's the fourth body?